What's up, guys? We're here at All In again. Can you believe we haven't been canceled yet or kicked off YouTube or anything? This I don't think they can. Crazy. I can't. Who knew, I can't. man? Who knew? Anyways, we're, we're, here, nowadays. we're here at All In for another Four Idiots in a Playlist. It's a podcast review. If you don't know, now you know. If you don't know, now you so, uh, know. So, today we're going to be reviewing, I guess, Justin's mixtape, huh? Mm-hmm. I can't wait to dig in. Let's, uh... Let's introduce everybody. Oh, you can find me at Planet Fitness crying in the corner. It's a judgment-free zone. Judgment-free, baby. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Paul, and so the name of the playlist is actually going to be Through the Day. And like uh, Chad said, it's going to be our man, Justin. Yeah, yeah. That was it. That's all I had. And? Yeah, that was it. Okay. And Chris? Are you there, Chris? Hey, guys. This is Chris. <laughs> Keeping it creepy. Keep it uh, creepy. AKA, you know? <laughs> do the creep. Ah, ah. Right, this is uh, AK Dr. Killjoy 89. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I think this is Justin's first playlist, right? I think we, I think this is, uh, I think we finally, this is everybody now. Plus we RIP Cuddies. This is number five. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Wow. Hey, y'all. As you can tell, this is my playlist. We've said it four times now, so you can't forget. <laughs> You can't forget at this point that it's my playlist. I'm Justin, aka Nasty Tom. You guys can find me at twitch.tv. I know we're going to have some links at the end of this shit, so uh, I won't stress that too much. But yeah, this is my playlist called uh, Through the Day. Uh, in the little side notes of the description, it said, Can you make it? Uh, I'm really looking forward to what these guys got to say. Uh, I tried to give them something to, to kind of, you know, fuck with. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking Chad's going to be up first. He's going to tell us what, we, what he thinks. And let's just go ahead and get it. Let's go. Chris, roll that beautiful bean footage. Mm. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Do you know that dog died, man? Really? Like, like a couple months ago? Yeah. yeah. Duke died. He had too many secrets, man. He had to go. Man, I'll tell you what. Are you talking about the beans? Bean yeah. guy? The stop. beans, yes. That's I'm thinking about those beans, That's though. fake news. That dog's still alive. I can't alive. stop thinking about those beans. I man, saw that dog on Splatoon and Leak. <laughs> he was there. He was too good for this world is what it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is. That's he it. took them damn bean secrets with him, too. He was trying That's to what it was. To his time. grave. I mean, yeah, you had to fuck it out of him, and nobody had the balls to do it. They couldn't do hey. it. Couldn't do it. Mm. All right, moving on. Okay, <laughs> first song. Are we still Help me, podcast? featuring MVE by Madface and MVE from the album What It Looks Like slash Help Me. All right. Uh... I actually like this song pretty decent. It wasn't uh, wasn't my favorite song on the playlist. Uh, wasn't really a bad one. A great way to start it off, boosting the energy, amping things up. I know Justin's talking about he watch he listens to our music and stuff in the gym. This kind of had that like I just showed up at the gym, got to get my cardio going first real quick, get things pumping, get things moving. Had a good beat for that. Um, you know, music like that doesn't really strike a deep chord to me. It's just a hey, you know, it's a it's it's strictly tempo. It's strictly an ad- adrenaline pumper. So. A uh, good way to start off the playlist. I'm digging it so far. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I like the song. It's very upbeat. You know, it kind of had that house party ish techno vibe to it. That like that thump that really gets you going. Um, and yeah, uh, as Justin had mentioned before, you know, he listens to a lot of our music in the gym, and not to mention during his streams and stuff like that. So it's good. He, I know that he's been doing a lot of stuff to kind of keep him pumped up, keep him amped, and that is exactly what this is. Um, and I think it. I think it actually goes through, um, it goes along with the name of the, the, the playlist, you know, through the day. Um, it's like, you know, can you help me through the day? And this is going to be what's starting you off, helping you through. And, uh, yeah, so I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think uh, y'all guys kind of hit it on the head. More of the same for me. Um, I, I liked it. It was a perfect song to start this playlist, I think. Uh, that is the same thing that kept popping my mind when I was listening to this uh, song was, Justin on his uh, stream and on uh, Twitch, whatever the hell it's called, and uh, yeah, I, I liked it a lot. I mean, it was it's a it's a banger in my opinion. It really gets the uh, gets you going, you know. Uh, I like yeah, I think it's a perfect song for the for the first play the first song for the playlist. So uh, yeah, yeah, I, I dug yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> hey man, you guys. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I don't think any of you got out of this what I thought you'd get out of this, but literally the lyrics are just saying, you know, hey, can you can you provide some kind of, you know, some help? I need love. I need love to kind of 
you know, start this thing off, maybe make it through the day, get the day going. I got that you guys enjoyed it. You know, you thought it was a banger. I did want that to be there, but I also wanted to kind of have a little bit of substance. The one thing we all need sometimes is a little bit of love, you know, doesn't really got to be too much. You know, maybe you, you make it through the day with that little bit of love. That's all I was thinking. I was thinking like, Hey, we're going to start off this playlist. We're going to start off our day. You know, what do most of us want? We want some love. Pancakes. We want that. So, you know, some people want pancakes. But yeah, man, I mean, I guess as far as what Chad was saying about, you know, me being in the gym and Paul was saying about me, you know, being on stream, these are perfect songs to listen to while you're on stream, while you're playing video games. But it's also something I wanted. If I'm going to start up a playlist, I want it to be a banger. I want it to, you know, kind of have a little bit of a message. But I also want you to kind of get lost in it. Like, just kind of get lost in the sauce. Like, you don't got to overthink it too much. Literally, there's like maybe five words in the song that get repeated. And, you know, really just like, hey, take those words for what they say. I need love to help me. Um, there was an overarching theme towards the playlist. And I think at the end of it all, I'll, I'll try to kind of touch on that. I don't want to give away too much in like how I talk about each song. But if by the end of it, I've given it all away, fuck it. But really, I'm glad you guys like the first song. You know, I'm glad it got you into, you know, into it. But yeah, definitely not really something I was worried about, like going to the gym, needing to listen to. Uh, I, you know, it, that wasn't really it. It was just more of like, hey, we're, we're trying to make it through the day. You know, maybe, you know, we get a little love to start us off. Nice. Thanks. Yep. We'll accept nice. that answer. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's me. Nice. You know, I mean, <laughs> also, let me come back to this. Nice. I'm now the final one. I didn't realize how much pressure was on you guys the, last of the entire time people. I was talking shit about y'all. You know, now I kind of get it. Now it's all me, uh -huh. you know, and uh -huh. I don't I don't like it too much. I don't like it too much, but <laughs> I also like the fact that y'all didn't get anything out of what I thought y'all was going to get. That's, that's, you the know, so yeah, that's the real joy. That's the real joy every it's, it's time. Like it is, man. What do you, you want You know what I mean? Us? Like, it's like that point when you're in school and you just took this multiple choice test and you're thinking like, yeah, I fucking aced this I shit, nailed man. that shit, boy. I nailed it. And the God, entire fucking hundreds. Hey, nah, you ended up with a 45 and a half. Like, you, the team, the you team either gave you a 45 and a half. What question did you get half points on is what you want to know. That was the name but on the really, paper. You failed. You failed. But I good had job, none of that shit. <laughs> hey, it's all good. It's all good. Go ahead. Tell me what you thought. I think, uh, what, it's going to be uh, Paul as number two, or is it going to be Chris? Chris got to uh, read the name. Three. All right, next song, guys. Crazy. Classic Life by... Oh, it's explicit too. By Janelle <laughs> Monet. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, good job, Monet. bro. Monet. Monet. Uh, Monet from the album Dirty Computer. Mm. A little dirty for you. Mm. Yeah, this is a this is another one for me. It was a uh, pretty peppy. Um, even like it's peppy, but it has some dark undertones to it, and I enjoy that. Um, it's a uh, she this person just wants to talk about the life uh, She wants to live her life. She wants to be happy about it and um, No matter how she looks or what others think about her um, The like I said, I really like the song. It's it's pretty upbeat But I really enjoy the the kind of deeper meanings that it had um, It talks about even like she was in some of the situations because you know the color of her skin and you know It, it probably did, uh, some situations it might not help that she was a woman um, she's doing the same exact things as them, but yet she's the one that's ending up in trouble in some situations. Um, she's talking about how she, you know, is getting stressed out and frizzled out, you know, the part with her Afro. Um, uh, and it's just, I like that. It's the music kind of like it, I, I like that it doesn't always match what the words exactly are saying. Like, you know, we're upbeat and we're going, but Hey, the stuff that she's saying, like, she just wants to live a regular life like anybody does. It shouldn't matter who she is, what she looks like, you know, what she's into. She just wants to live this type of life. And yeah, I, I get that. And I, I really, so yeah, I dug the song. Yeah, I think I agree. I, <clears throat> this song does, it's like, this song, um, it's got a little bit of poppiness to it. It's got a little bit of, like Paul said, a little bit of darkness to it. And it's got a little bit of rap at the end, hip hop at the end. I, I I dug this song. Uh, there's some parts of the song I didn't care for. Uh, the way she would, I'm being really picky here. The way she would say the crazy classic and then she'd do the uh, drop the tone a little bit for the live part. I didn't, I don't know, for, for some reason I didn't care for that, but it was a good song. I liked it. I, it, it flowed really well coming from the first song to this song, too. Uh, 
But yeah, that was a good follow up to the first song. No complaints. Yeah, um, Janelle Monae's been around for a little while. She's done TV and movies and like modeling and all kinds of different stuff. And she's also been uh, pretty active in the political arena. So when I heard the song, Surprise. I didn't know it was her. Yeah. You know, who knows? Politics, entertainment, somehow they, they fucks with each other. So uh, anyways, I didn't realize it was her until um, I was listening to the song and then, you know, looked at the at the uh, album art and all that stuff. And uh, I think what she was trying to say in this song, first of all, I like the song. Um, it kind of breaks into a couple different segments. It brings a couple different genres of music into it. Mm-hmm. Um you know, the, it, it is a little bit edgy as far as, like, has a little bit of politically chargedness to it. I like that MLK was in the beginning. Dr. King was the man. I love that guy. Um, you know, it, he went, it, she she laid out this this foundation. Then she kind of gave her take on it. And to me, it was, she doesn't want an ordinary life. She wants a great life, like an extravagant life. And she doesn't want the stereotypes that kind of box everybody in. She talks about being, like, pansexual and different things, like, in a lot of interviews she's done. And um, she's like, I don't want all these labels and stuff. I just want this crazy yet yeah, that should be normal like everybody every individual should have this crazy life you know that that's uniquely theirs and not limited in so many ways and i think that kind of bled through with the music um not not the most catchy song i mean it had this one little upbeat lyrical kind of where she kind of wrapped into the third verse and stuff and and that was pretty pretty edgy pretty catchy you know but um usually i don't like a whole lot of poli- political activism in, in a song because she wasn't really like talking i think in her like personal experiences she's just like hey society wants to box you in i think you should have an extravagant wild crazy and that should be the norm everybody should have that so there is no no boundaries and stuff so um not not my favorite song on the on the uh playlist but but definitely a good one and uh and i do like the artist i think she's uh she's she's edgy man she's she's something else right yeah man. hey uh you guys touched on a lot of different things that she was actually trying to convey and a lot of those points i tried to put into my next song um, what you kind of grabbed from like maybe the first song or what I told you you should <laughs> grab was that, hey, we need and we want certain things. We want our lives to be a certain way. We want love, you know, like she wanted. She wanted her life to be crazy, you know, classic and, and cool. You know, she she wanted, you know, all these different things. She, you know, wants to state her her existence and she doesn't want to be judged for it. You know, it's just little things like that that we want. You know, we, we would all want, like Chad was saying. You know, we all want this, you know, unique lifestyle. We want things that we love, you know, and we don't want to be judged for them. Uh, the one thing, though, is I, I didn't, I, I don't feel like she should, she should be, you know, necessarily put in a bad place for any of her, you know, her ideas. You know, a lot of times when she was worried about some of the people like, hey, I, I want to, I want my crazy, you know, classic life. I want, you know, these things and I don't want to be judged for them. Some of those things really you shouldn't be judged for at all. And it's not even that big a deal. If you want to love a woman, love a woman. If you want to love a man at the same time, love a man. Uh, sometimes we do get hung up on on little things like that. And I wanted to kind of make that second song come out to be like, hey, you know, this is this is all of us. We all want these little things, but it's not really that special. Everybody wants it. Uh, then they also touch on us like a, a little bit of the rap verse. There was something in there that I thought was super cool. And Paul mentioned this, how like because of her skin color, you know, they might view her a certain way when it's someone of the different skin color, you know, they can get away with certain things. And that was actually a little more personal for me because in the entertainment industry, you know, I stream, Paul streams, other people stream. It's almost normal for a, you know, white male or uh, anybody like that to kind of stream and it not be looked at as weird. But anytime I'm like bringing it up, like, oh, yeah, I stream, I do this. Sometimes I get a side eye. Sometimes I'm like, what? what? That's not what you should be doing. You know, you shouldn't be doing that. And it was kind of funny to be like, hey, well, this is my certain, you know, this is my second song on this playlist. Maybe I'm going to, you know, throw some troops out. This is going to be my chance to kind of say like, hey, you know, this is something I deal with. It might be a completely different experience being a, a black streamer than being, you know, a white or Asian or whatever type of streamer. I think it's always going to be different. But this was my point in this song to kind of be like, hey, well, this is something I'm kind of going through, you know, not to kind of get too heavy. Don't want to get too heavy in a certain, you know, second song, but kind of want to bring it up. Let it be like, hey, you know, sometimes you're doing something that you like and people will think, you know, think you're crazy for doing it. But still, I want to enjoy it. I want it to be awesome. Like, you know, Janelle Monae said, you know, I want my crazy classic life. I want my shit to be awesome. You know, but, you know, sometimes other people have different thoughts and you got to find a way through that. But 
really, you know, second song, I thought it was really dank. I thought the beat was there. I was like, I've got to find a way to put this song in my playlist somehow, some way. Like, it has to be in there. The opening was fucking heavy. And it was like, you told us, you know, the, you know, all this shit. Like, hey, and, you know, really, I, I've dug it. And I had to put it on there. Like I said, it was one of those songs. But uh, we'll move on. We'll let it ride. Y'all uh, continue telling me what, what you think. Oh, go ahead. Well, one thing I got to add. I've been there when Paul tells people he's a streamer. They usually laugh right in his face. Yeah, nobody's right. ever <laughs> yeah. thought yeah, of yeah, At cool. least you're getting but a side guess, eye. Like, <laughs> I don't know, but that's, of course, because Paul's, Paul's acoustic. Right well, Paul's acoustic. I've yeah, seen Paul's him, acoustic. acoustic. That has nothing to do with his skin color. <laughs> I've seen you know, that's just him being ridiculous. He shouldn't be a streamer. He should not. Like, that's that's, that's the thing. We should get that out of the way. Anything he does. But it is literally one of those things a lot of time. Just from my personal experience. And I think that's all we have. I think we only have our personal experience, sure. and we can try to understand other people's points of view. <laughs> but literally, in this case, it's just Paul being ridiculous. What can he you should do? be streaming. Yeah, what can you do? All right, all right. Moving on. Guilty Love by Zhu. Z-H-U? I think you it's Red. Song. Red is the next song. All right, moving on. Red by Arbor <laughs> on the album Sights and sounds and i am up so i'm gonna be honest this might be one of my favorite songs on this playlist i loved this song i don't know what it is about it <clears throat> i will say what to me and this is a personal thing when i'm listening to this song what keeps popping in my head i remember paul used to play this game based on the movie lone survivor but it was nothing like the movie lone survivor and it was like this weird like 16-bit really gory dark kind of game and for some reason, this music, whenever it plays, it, that's what's in my head, is that weird uh, uh, game based on the movie Lone Survivor. There was nothing like the movie Lone Survivor. It's not based, it, was like, it wasn't based on Lone Survivor. The name of the game was Lone Survivor. Good game. <laughs> but uh, What was the name of the game? You cut Lo- out. Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor. Oh, that was but, the name of the game. Okay. <clears throat> but it was like really dark, uh, really kind of gory and edgy. and But it was really it was fun to watch Paul play the game. Really like, good. Uh, this was before he streamed. Maybe he should play it in one of the streams in the future. Mm. But yeah, I liked it a lot. I like the song a lot. It was just, it is, it definitely has that kind of background music, but it's just, it flows so well. Again, this is another song when you you flowed from the last song into this song, it flowed almost seamlessly to me, and uh, I, I liked it a lot. Like uh, I think it probably is going to one of my playlists. I I just really dug it. All right, so this is one of the songs where when I listened to it, I thought, you know, when I listen to these, like, instrumental, lo-fi type, you know, like, just kind of melodic songs, I just wonder, like, how does this stand out from any other song that's like this? You know, like, like I have a hard time picking out the, the subtle <laughs> nuances. And, and it's not that I'm not trying and not trying to listen to this this kind of music. It's new to me, so I'm trying to pick it up and, like, discern right. one from the other. And I am just lost in the sauce with this kind of music right here. If it's if it's just kind of lo-fi and laid back, I mean, it's it's good. I didn't I didn't hate it. I got a lot of work done to this song on my when I was doing it at work. Um, you know, I wasn't nothing to sing along to. I mean, you know, I'm I'm a simple guy, man. You got to give me words. If if you're trying to put a meaning to a song, it's got to tell me something. Like like some people need a sign from God. Like you know, this thing happens and they put two and two together. Like God's got to literally grab me by the face and go, Hey, man, listen. <laughs> This is not, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta simplify it for me. So, I'm not, not gonna crap on the song because it wasn't a bad song. There was nothing I didn't like about it, but just nothing that really I could tell this from some of the songs that was on Chris's playlist to some of the ones that you know th- these instrumental melodic type songs. I, I just have a lot hard time finding anything in them for me. Uh, yeah, uh, I enjoy the song. Um, it's it very much fell and this was something that justin had mentioned before not every song has to have a meaning not every song you know has to say something sometimes you just want to listen to a song just to listen to a song so yeah, but then when you got to review it and say something about it you're like ah, yeah i like this song i guess it's cool yeah totally uh, but uh it. like i said i i saw this more of you know as justin had mentioned before i saw this as to me, it didn't really have any meaning. It just it felt like elevator music getting to somewhere else. Like we're on our way. Like we just did two, you know, two things. So now we're just kind of filler. hey, now it's yeah, like we're waiting yeah, to the next filler, part. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I enjoy it. It's very chill. And like I said, I'm just all right. This song's going. I'm waiting for the next hook to hit me. Gotcha. Yeah, man. Um, it's like across all of you guys, what you've said is almost exactly what was happening. Literally, I needed a song 
like that would transition from the last song to this next one like it didn't need to say too much it more of it needed to have a vibe when chris was talking about like it had this it reminded him of like these this darker game that had a darker undertone that was what i was thinking i had made a playlist a little while ago that i didn't quite give to you guys but this was one of those songs that kind of carried the mellow dark undertones it and I don't want to give away too much about this playlist, like what I really wanted it to say, but there was more of a, a vibe to this song. Like you needed to grab an emotion. Like a, we have just talked about technically wanting love, you know, wanting a crazy classic life, not to be judged. You know, wanting that shit is like a double-edged sword. Like you want these things, but they can also make you feel bad because you don't have them. But literally just wanting a, a darker tone to kind of carry into the next song. I And mind you, then I'm not going to go too much into the next song, but I just know I did need that segue. I did need something that would kind of get me from one song to another, but I also wanted it to have an emotion. And I know Chad brought up, he was like, hey, well, this this song, you know, doesn't have any lyrics. It's tough for him to kind of grab anything from it. Just from me, just from how I listen to music, I listen to the drums, the kicks, the you know, the knocks, like what's in there, the little things they're trying to get across, like those little the subtleties of a song sometimes for me help me listen to a song kind of help me grab an emotion if you can't say anything about a song literally you could just say hey this song made me feel like this you don't have to say like hey i liked it or i didn't like it but like hey well this song kind of made me feel like i'm just gonna you know go through my work day like it was something that i'm trying to get across which you said but that's you know you didn't have to do much more than that i think you you might have wanted to overthink it and be like oh i gotta get something from this song i have to have something but literally what you did while you listened to the song, and if it helped you do that, that's literally, you know, all I needed to hear. Like, hey, it helped me, you know, listen to this song while I was working. It helped me get through my work day. You know, it was kind of chill. And, you know, I didn't grab anything, like, deep from it, which, you know, you don't have to. But, you know, you guys did a good job. I actually like the way you guys kind of put a spin on it. it. Each and everything you guys said, some of it, you know, was what I was trying to get across. So, once again, I love how we all take different things. But sometimes those different things are what we're trying to put out. So good yeah, job, guys. I'm, su I'm surprised how many of these type of songs are in these playlists that you guys are putting out. I mean, you know, when you when you when I was thinking of how these playlists were going to unfold, it was I, I I see that they're more of a theme, like they're more kind of a you know, it's it's more thought out than just hey, here's ten cool songs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's not that's, always necessarily now. Sometimes yeah, we do. Yeah, sometimes we'll do that. Together right, right. Playlists. So th this is the songs I'm listening to right now, or just, yeah. these are the songs I want to put out there for people to listen to. So. Yeah, I, I don't want people to get under the impression that all these songs, all these playlists are going to be very heavily themed or yeah. like I did my, my playlist. Everyone on my playlist aren't going to be like that. Right. <laughs> I don't want people to get the wrong impression. Just, yeah, I think this, is, is, probably not gonna be this like is probably as close as I've tried to get to like keeping a story going, overall story going as, you know, as I can. But I, I can't wait to kind of reveal what was happening. Like I said, if, if along the way I end up telling you guys what was happening, you know, so be it. But I'll try to wait till the end. I'll try to, you know, let y'all know what's up. But uh, I guess now, yeah, we're moving on to the next song. Tell us what it is, Chris. All right, moving on. Guilty Love by I still don't. I, I'm, I'm guessing it's Zoo. Zoo, Zoo. Don't hey, don't I, overthink I'm it. Say it's Zoo. Zoo. All right, on the album Ringo's Desert. All right, yeah. Um, this song right here, um, I liked it okay. Uh, it, it it had a little bit of like unsettledness to it and i thought that was kind of what the song was was supposed to convey uh, especially when the girl comes in and is like hey man i just <clears> talked <throat> to my man and we can't be doing this no more you know and and guilty love you know i mean i i get it you know for me my guilty love ho-hos you know i love my feet but i love honey buns too it's tough man i look i went home the that's other really day. tough for you in prison yeah how much you love honey yeah, buns dude. right that's a trap by the way if i ever go Yikes. to jail i ain't got a chance because you put a honey bun on my pillow buddy oh yeah you're gonna have to Hell come yeah. get these hands because i'm eating a honey bun and we'll just deal with the consequences then that sounds but, uh, so good right now that's that's y'all nasty y'all yeah. nasty extra icing on that honey bun i'm a bad wiper you don't want hey. it's not worth that honey bun you got it oh my god uh, later, maybe we move don't. on you don't want you don't want no problem. You don't want no problem. You don't want no problem. So, but yeah, this song. I mean, it it wasn't it wasn't my kind of music. Um, it's not really you know my cup of tea. But uh, I did see that like it tied in like with through the day because like in the playlist this is about lunchtime and like that's usually when I start making guilty bad decisions about my day. Mm, right. So uh, so I mean it fit me perfect. Uh, I loved it. Um, for that reason. 
the musical part of it not so great. The last two haven't really got me uh got me too pumped up, but uh, it, it did let make me feel guilty about that um that eating you know two orders of chicken from Popeyes that day. Word. Worth it though. Sorry, oh, sorry. Popeyes, Word. so good. God, so good. <laughs> it is so good. No, yeah, Popeyes. Hey, yeah. hey, let's not go in. Uh, sponsorship. The biscuits. Click the link, the click the link below. Get your coupon for Popeyes. Popeyes, if you're watching fries. this, give us a sponsorship. Oh, we'll talk about no, it all no, the no, time. No, no, no. We don't want to just reward them. We got to talk shit about Popeyes the until they understand. Like, hey, you know, these are the guys we want to support. Well, let's go. They sprinkle crack in it. No, they do. Peanut butter crack sandwich. Get out of here. You want a real quick spicy. Oh, you know what I want. Don't always ask me that. Mm. I want it spicy. My butthole don't want it spicy. I want it spicy. Give me two. I go spicy. Yeah, I go spicy every time. that black and ranch, though? Yeah, spicy with the black and ranch. Oh, my God. You just. Y'all are dumb. I'm going to Popeyes. I'll see you. Yeah, later, dude. Popeyes. Y'all are. Acoustic. They open one up over here near Oaks where I live. Oh, <sighs> if Popeyes delivers, I'm gaining 400 pounds. Mm, yeah, game Get over. Oh, jeez. Where are we? Are we still on the podcast? All right, moving on. All right. Mm. Anyways, so this is the fourth song in the playlist. We started <laughs> off, you know, pretty, pretty light. You know, some mild, dark undertones, and you know, the sex song. This is the one where we're like, okay, this guy is fucking a married woman. Um, she just told his, she just told her husband and you're a, for, for, to me, you, this song is from his perspective. Like he's getting the phone call. Hey, and it, from what, like, I, again, you listen to music, how you listen to it. Me, it was like, Hey, I'm here. This is a, I know that she's technically talked to him, but to me, it sounds like a voicemail. This is something he could be overplaying and playing and playing and playing while he's fucking drinking just because the, the music like Justin was mentioning before, you can get something from the actual tone of the music. It is so dour, um, and it's kind of like haunting to me. Like it's very haunting me. Like this is maybe even a memory that he has that he keeps replaying over and over. And uh, you know, this guy's such a cuck, man. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, uh, what this can guy do? would not be the cuck. This guy officially, this guy would not be the cuck. No, he would not be the cuck of all terms. I'm he would be the him. cuck. Oh, he'd be the cucker. Being the cuck, he'd be the cucker. Imagining the other guy feeling bad about making him the cuck. That's what I'm talking about. Like yeah. that he that That's he's fucking this dude's old lady. Right. That okay. He's remorseful. Tell me about, about what she's saying right now, Chad. Yeah. He's remorseful about fucking the dude's old lady. But you imagine him sitting there like playing it over and over again, drinking and stuff like that. He so, got left. <laughs> like she left him. Right. The dude that she's like breaking it off with him. Right. Yeah. And so you think that this guy who was cheating on this married couple whatever home right that he's just sitting at the bar like damn she was mine dude she was never his that ain't how these relationships work that ain't how hey you don't hey that's she that's was talking about how like in. she's gonna that she talked to her husband and they're gonna work it out so right. apparently they've been so, talking so about so breaking, breaking it off, it off and she was him. gonna be going breaking off with her husband and going with the dude so you think that she Ooh. had a choice to make she chose the husband and now this dude's yeah that's exactly right. what happened she, yeah, these she i feel like she was leading him on saying i'm going to break things off with my husband otherwise why would she even mention that you're you're assuming a lot there paul i think why would she mention it though i don't know well before we get into that chris tell us what you thought about the song all right so <laughs> did i say what i thought about the song i, I, I think i, I stole, don't know I man i, I don't know paul did you that. you talked long enough go <laughs> ahead no, continue then paul go for it paul <laughs> Now he's mad. Yeah, now he's mad, y'all. Uh-oh. Go ahead. This is where he kicks me out of his house and finishes the story. Okay, after us. after you talk, Chris, we're going to let Paul finish up. We're going right, to let him. You get a rebuttal. <laughs> nope. Right. He's mad. Hurt his right. feelings. So I had Damn two thoughts. Yeah. Okay, oh, first man. thought was the first time I listened to it, when the voice call came in, it reminded me of uh, the Pacific Northwest Stories podcast where – there's a lot of phone calls in the in the podcast, and I was kind of bummed it wasn't something more paranormal because that's how like that kind of hush tone. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us okay. Sounds like, be like EVP. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, the, on it. the the black tapes uh, podcast or the uh, uh, oh god, Canada we're shouting out all these other podcasts. Shout but them out. Anyways, in in those podcasts, wait, Chris, Chris, wait, wait, wait. Why don't you tell them where you live again? You you usually like to do that. Tell them where you live. <laughs> tell them where I live. You know while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> this is spiral. This is spiral. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> like how I live like in the southeast or whatever, in the south. <laughs> in the dirty, dirty. He lives in the dirty, dirty. The, the dirty mm. south. <laughs> the dirty south. Mm. But uh, 
The other thing that popped in my head <laughs> was Chris Drunk History. The next song, man. Drunk yeah, History with the uh, next song. Drunk History with the uh, Benjamin Franklin's banging his best friends. <laughs> His best friend's wife. He's like, all right, Benjamin Franklin, uh, this is my wife. All right, I'm going to France. <laughs> I want you to watch after her. He's like, all right, I'll do that for you. You're my, my best, best friend. friend. Oh, I'll and do this. He comes by. He comes by. He's like, problems. hey, you know, I'm just checking on you to make sure it's okay. <laughs> I brought you some biscuits. And then a week later, he's like, hey, just come by and make sure you got a fire. I don't know if you have no ma- know how to make a fire because you're a woman. It's 1770. And a week later, he's like, hey, you know, I came by, you know, I got you some biscuits. I taught you how to make a fire. Do you oh. want to fuck? I mean, all right, so it's obvious Chris is then a week later right now. So <laughs> he's, he's out. Then a week uh, later, he comes by. He's like, hey, I can't be with you anymore. He's like, well, you got to make a choice. It's either me or him. And she's like, well, I, she was like, I choose him. Talking about her husband. He's like, all right, you made your choice. Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. So that's basically what happens in this song. <laughs> All right, read out the next song then. Exactly. Doing? Finish I mean, up. Yeah, man. I guess I don't need to touch on it. <laughs> All right. I guess uh, we Go ahead, just Justin. read off the next song. Is that it? We done, Paul? We done? We moving on? We know that's this it. is a Ben right. Franklin song, Justin. I'm yeah, we well, like, want to right. history I mean, and put this song on here. Good job. I mean, Chris just went all across the board. He, like I said, he high off Molly right now. So he just, oh. He's rolling, dude. But I mean, he but, rolling. Oh no, it's a good song. Right. I like. It. All right, I'm okay. glad you guys liked it. Um, what I wanted though, I wanted with this song, I wanted a sobering moment. I wanted something like if this shit happened to you. Like Paul said, like he, this person that's getting this call, you notice his voice echoes right before she delivers the news. He is heartbroken. He literally wanted this chick to be with him. It's that moment we don't talk about and that whole when you're getting cheated on or when you're cheating on someone that maybe this person that you're cheating on legit thought or, you know, or the person that you're cheating with legit thought that you two were going to work it out. You thought y'all were going to be together. You thought that, hey, you know, you're with this guy, but you said you loved me. We're in this. You've got me. Come to find out, you literally just had a conversation with your husband, and now we're no longer together. You, you're just now, now I'm the one that's heartbroken, even though I know I was, I was helping you break yeah. this other person's heart. It's, it's one of those justice. sobering moments we never talk about. Like, legit, like, who gives a fuck about the person that's, that's helping someone cheat? Like, whoever gives a fuck about them. But it was kind of fun to hear, you know, like, hey, this person on their point of view is getting their heart broken. They're having to face reality. They're having to realize, like, hey, what I wanted from this relationship, what I wanted from you, maybe my wants from the previous songs, maybe, you know, how I want things to go. That's not how shit goes. That's not it. We are waking up. We are forced to deal with reality. Like, hey, I was helping you cheat. I was in the wrong, even though I felt like we were in the right. And really, that was what I wanted. I wanted my sobering moment in the song. And literally, the song itself starts off kind of upbeat and happy. But there is that phone call. There's that pause. The beat kicks in, and it changed. Like, it it basically, from that point on, the song and maybe the playlist is no longer that poppy shit. It's not poppy. It's not going to, you know, be the way you want it to be. It's going to be some of the shit you actually have to deal with, some of the actual thoughts that you deal with every day. So once again, you know, like I said, a sobering effect of a song May not have been what you got out of it, but it was what I was trying to put into it. Uh, I guess, yeah. yeah. Now we can move on. I'm not allowed to listen to cheating songs unless it's Reba McIntyre. Bet. All right, well, guess what? Got one past you. (laughs) (laughs) Got you, bitch ass. Got you, Got you, bitch. (laughs) Don't tell. Yeah, where where, where your wife at? Don't tell. She ain't here. Hey, you know what? I'm going to link this to her. Truth is, she's home eating Popeyes right now. I swear, I brought Popeyes home for dinner. Also, y'all, <laughs> if Chris is still alive, I'd like him to wave his hands. Because this man been frozen. <laughs> he did. This man is frozen. Hey, y'all, this is the Molly. Froze, this is the Molly. Man. I don't know if y'all got this on y'all end, but yeah. Yeah. EI on my... Dude, he it. looks like a substitute shop teacher right there. <laughs> and I don't know when we lost him. I don't care either. How long ago was it, Chris? All right, moving on. Cutting Ties. This is an explicit song for children. By huh. Six Slack. Six, six Slack. Yeah. I mean, six. I mean, just mispronounce every single name. Yeah, it's and then you'll always be right. It's black. You're, it's black, man. It's black? Okay. It's black. Six Slack. Pronounce. You know, black with black. a six. Yeah. 
Yeah, Thank man. You know, come on. I'm a fucking idiot, you guys. I mean, hey, y'all act like y'all wasn't on MySpace and Facebook. Chris with the Dallas sign. Anyways, and all from the shit. from the album Cutting Ties. Wouldn't you use an eight? I don't know. Anywho, nah, that's capital. That's capital. <laughs> you, hey, you smart though. You smart though, Chad. <laughs> He he spelled boobs a lot. He, like if there was a chance, he was spelling boobies. O O B. On that uh, calculator, baby. Yeah. So, anyways, next mm. up, like I said, song uh, by Black, "Cutting Ties." Um, I can't go wrong with Black. I mean, seriously, like you put him on there. I don't think I've heard a song by him yet that I have not enjoyed. Um, right. <clears throat> and this one. Kind of, I mean, it follows up the the guilty love perfectly because it talks about cutting ties. Um, <clears throat> but it also, to me, talks about him being, you know, him being hurt before, and it's not about somebody, you know, cutting ties with him. Now he's the one who's cutting ties. Now he's the one who's can't, who's not letting things get too far. Um, one of the lyrics is, "Either way, I, uh, either way, I gotta go." When it comes to cutting ties, I, I'm like a pro. And so what that's meaning is he's not letting himself get too attached to anybody at this point. And so I'm sorry, but it's actually for the person that he's with, it might actually be better for them that he doesn't let it get too deep. If you're not able to, you know, give yourself completely to a relationship, there's no reason to lead someone on. And so he's cutting himself as the dead weight off. And I like that. Um, so, you know, like I said, she's, uh, she, he, whoever is better off without him. And, um, I, I can respect that, but yeah, I enjoyed the song. It was really deep. Yeah. Uh, I agree with what everything Paul said. It, it, it's a very good song. I've never heard of, uh, what was it? Slack. 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 Just call him Slack. Just call him Slack. By six like uh six like baby <laughs> six like. do your own fucking thing Chris that's all I do it uh I, it, it's, I like it a lot it's a banger uh like Paul said you know it's all about cutting ties I mean it's in this, it's in the title of the song um uh you know I don't repeat everything Paul said but I basically agree with what he said uh, it's it's a good song I've never heard of him before before this playlist so you know I definitely want to check out some more of his stuff. Uh, that's, like I said before, many times, that's one thing I really like about doing these playlists is it introduces you to new artists, you know. It, and like I've I've actually got introduced some artists and I really enjoyed them and started listening to a lot more of their stuff. So, thank you, Justin. Hey, Chris, cool. real quick, was there was there any drunk history episode that this reminded you of? I've been thinking. Hold on. Let, hey, you know what? You get back to us on that one, Chris. We're circling back. We'll circle back. That we're probably circle back. that probably is. <laughs> we're gonna circle back. Um, first thing I'd like to say is shame on both of y'all for letting your man here not even know who Black was, and, or like I like to call him Six Lack. Hey, hey six crack you, a slack. If you, hey, if you gonna, yeah, y'all crack a slack. Hey. Okay, listen, Six Lack. That problem song he's got is my favorite one of his for sure, man. Mm -hmm. That dude, that yeah. dude throws it. It's out. a hit. I, it's a I got a buddy who's going through like some breakup stuff and like some you know screw these girls stuff, and like he literally like this is his anthem. I had to talk him out of a tattoo one night, but anyway. So uh, and second of all, one, once again, you you guys got it all wrong, man. Classic, this song classic. is about cutting ties, bro. It's about shredding his neckwear. He oh. doesn't. It's not about relationships at all, man. He's cutting ties like he's idiots, done with man. corporate America. Idiots, you know what I'm saying? Oh. I mean, you got it. You put so, two and two together, man. So I and mean, three I know where Justin's too. going with this one, and um, you know, <laughs> it's where he's like, you know, the dude in the song before apparently broke up with his girlfriend, like the the girl he was cheating on a, a another dude hey, with. Hey, broke up start with over him. and tell us what you're trying to say without without start. I can't. What I are you got talking you. about? Go <laughs> ahead. Go on. Go ahead, Dan. Go ahead. So, anyways, <laughs> do your damn thing. <laughs> the at the end of the day, the the song the song is obviously a good song. I like the song. It is talking about cutting ties. He's a pro. But also, you know, some people just moving on is easy for them. It becomes a habit. Yeah. So the danger is you find the right one and you're in this mode of just leaving. I mean, you know, hey, it's it's not a good place to be. But yeah. uh, if, if you listen to, to Six Lacks music, uh, dude is, is all about like, you know, hard truths in relationships. Like I, mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't, he ain't never told no lie. Can we just call him hey. X Lacks? I call him Slack. Six lack. I call him six black sometimes. Six black. 
Anyway. That's just when he's real drunk, though. Because, see, I think, I think once again, if he's trying to correlate numbers, he should be 2 lakh because B is the second letter in the alphabet. But the way he's got it lined up now, he's just flack because F is, is 6. Flack. He's not trying flack. to give you no flack, though. Right. right. I ain't trying to give him Somebody's going to steal that. It's deep. It's it is deep, that. man. It's a, it is a hey, rabbit man. hole we he's, could continue to go down. He's cutting ties, bro. All right, All right Justin. Okay. Tell, us, tell us who's right. <laughs> it was Chris. <laughs> Chris was right. I mean, I mean, at look this at Chris. Point, He's number one. He was right. I mean, how can you? Chippy how dad. can you not say Chris is? I mean, look at him. You know, look at him. Uh, I'm the lovable oaf. I mean, really, you guys knocked it out of the park. You hit it right on the head. You know, there's there's nothing you guys missed from this song at all. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you cover a wide enough it, spectrum, you can't miss anything. I mean, you really. You, like Shot I said man. before, you guys have literally, even if all of you were inherently wrong, you had enough of it right to kind of make it, just make it through. We it's a 45, it aggregate, baby. baby. You we all have pieces together. It's, oh, an it's, a, it's an algorithm. It is an algorithm. Oh, man. Legit, though, guys, I'm glad y'all enjoyed this song. It is a very dope song. Like, first thing, like, I, this song almost didn't make it on, but because I love the song so much, it, it was in there. And once again, you know, as I mentioned, from track one, where you want to be loved, where track two, you want to have this crazy, amazing life. You don't want to be judged. You know, track three, you know, that that negative feeling that can come from wanting some of those things to track, you know, four, where it's that sobering moment where what you want sometimes doesn't matter. You know, you're you might want the love that, you know, you think you have and it's not going to be there to this track where. Like you said, it's a it's a truth. Like sometimes you get to a point where you gotta cut a tie. Like you, we are humans. You know, you can go through a day sometimes, and this thought will pop in your head where, hey, maybe I'm not in the relationship I need to be in, or maybe this job isn't the job I need, or maybe this friend isn't the friend I need, and you gotta find a way to cut that tie. This song is there, you know, and it kind of comes back to the title of the playlist where through the day, like you may have all of these things. You might start your day out wanting it to be a certain way, but then, you know, that reality that not necessarily, you know, is reality negative, but sometimes we have this positive spin on the things we want. And then when reality comes in and it doesn't match up, we do feel negative. Him in this song, he was like, hey, I'm cutting these ties. It, it's it's going to be the best for us because I know. I know what's best for us. Of course, that's subjective. But he's saying, hey, I got to make this hard decision. I got to tell you the truth you don't want to hear. And cutting this tie, getting out of this situation, whatever it is, is the thing that's going to do it. Like, we got it. We got to go forward. And it might not be fun, but it's something that's got to happen. And I feel like throughout the day, you might have those thoughts that might creep in. That might, you know, you might have to separate yourself from something. And like I said, you guys, three out of three all spot on it got exactly out of this what yeah, i thought you were gonna get out of it normal i mean chris totally Killed just agreed shit, with what paul said <gasps> i'm gonna call it for what it is he literally just said hey paul whatever paul said was right I I didn't, I didn't, he didn't even listen to this he didn't even he listen, didn't to, listen to the playlist so he, didn't, he didn't listen to it like it's obvious we all got a text five minutes before the start of this thing Chris was like I ain't listen to this but I'm gonna try to phone it in and I'm exposing him oh, I'm fuck exposing him right ready. now shit exposed bitch hey, hey, and nothing, I mean you tried the... hey so, nothing gets you out of a long term relationship like cutting up all the neckwear she bought you you know you and I mean y'all y'all tried so hard y'all tried to phone it in it's all good I mean, shit, I ain't listening to none of y'all playlists. Regardless of how I close said I what it was about. I said it was about yeah. the cutting ties. I, I mean, even told <laughs> about a lyric that was in the song. I follow, I'm not coming after you. I'm not coming after anybody. I'm just I, I'm good. the only one that listened to this damn playlist. I mean, that's I'm, it. I'm, I'm I mean, doing it myself. I this fool right, right here. Hey, 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 I'm going to put it like this. Paul, you are the only it. one that's listened to any of these playlists. I just guessed from every single song title. And I was just like, hey, maybe I'm on. And I was there. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Good job. <laughs> it's like gambling, you know? Hey, you ain't yeah, yeah, so you know, got But no, channel, legit man, though, man. this song was just yeah, an right. amazing track. You do it had to be on there. <laughs> you have not had him on here a lot if you think he's going to gas me up. Yeah, no. No, but legit though, like this song was just dope. And I had to put it on here. And I thought what he was speaking about, it's something, if as a dude, as a female, as whoever you are, you've thought about during a day, during, you know, your your normal transition about, hey, is this something I need to be doing? Whatever I'm doing right now, is it something I need to be doing? Do I need to stop this? Do I need to cut these ties and move forward? 
are not. It's just one of those things. Like it's like, hey, these thoughts have crept in. Whether you know, you know, these same thoughts have crept in. I don't know, but you've had these thoughts. People have had these thoughts, and it just kind of goes goes along with the playlist that way with me. Chris's camera looks like straight up from Blair Witch Project from 1999. I mean, there it is. You hit it on the head. Look at his camera. Like, what is this? There. There it is. What happened? This is the backup. This is the backup. Backup. Well, yeah. No, right. now you guys continue. Continue with your tomfoolery. <laughs> continue. I really, I really you're glowing, scallion. Scallion. You are glowing. Let me tell you. Continue with you, rap scallions. <laughs> yeah. scallions. All right, Chris, go on with the next thing. Oh my God. Oh Lord. A holy light right here. Oh God. You're like D from that episode of It's Always Sunny, where like uh, she's trying, like they're doing the bar thing. And she's like trying I to. I thought glow. you were gonna say she was a bird. I was like, she's, always, she's a always a bird, though. Yeah, she's you damn bird, you langly bitch. <laughs> you gangly well, let's, move on. let's move on. I'm sure you guys are having a great time. It's getting late, but uh, let's let's do it. Let me let me hear it. Come on now. Tell me All what you right. really thought. Moving on. Down by Kid Fruity on the album Down, and I believe it's my turn, right? Probably. It sure. Might be. I'm gonna go anyways. All right. <laughs> Okay, this was probably probably my favorite song on this playlist. I really, oh, really, I really dug this song a lot. You said that about the third one. I said, I mean, you know, it doesn't matter. It's my it's all this good. Is, I think I like this more than Red. Red, was, I love Red too, but I don't know some about <laughs> yeah, this song. I mean, I can't it, judge no more. You just telling me sweet, sweet lies. You telling me what you think I want to hear? I'll tell you anything you want to hear, but oh shit, I, re- I really, I really <laughs> dug this song a lot. I, I don't know. It's just it's so. Very lighthearted and chill. Um, I, I I I really I really like it. And again, like this whole playlist, it just it just flowed really good coming from the last song into this song. Yeah. I, this whole playlist just flows really good to me. Yeah, but, true. Yeah, Let I, me ask I, a question really that hasn't been song. asked. How does this song make you feel, Chris? I don't know. It, it really it puts me in a good mood for sure. I for mean, sure? I I like uh, I, I'm this is definitely going on my main playlist as well. I I really. Doug, this song, I definitely want to check out some more by Kid Fruity for sure. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. Cool. Plus, it's a cool name. Kid Fruity is just really, really tight. The fruit. Fruit, fruit. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a song that I really didn't care for on the playlist. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know it's coming. You know it's coming. You I mean, he hasn't cared for any Indiana. song on any playlist. <laughs> Listen, first of all, I don't know where y'all find this music at, man. Y'all, y'all dig deep. Like, there ain't like y'all's playlist like every time i listen to one of y'all's playlists it's like two artists that i've heard of and eight that are like how... let me stop you right there you equating my music taste with these plebs i'm appalled <laughs> I, am I was appalled. gonna say i was just you gonna say in? this this song is one that i would have thought would be on paul's playlist that like this sounds similar to a what lot of stuff mean? that was on his yeah like what the fuck you trying to say you bitch <laughs> You bid you. He's you goddamn bid you. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. Like, you know, I look. I looked at my yeah. wife after I listened to this song. I looked over at her and said, "I've got better musical taste than all these dudes." <laughs> I cannot believe it. Who knew? You put Kenny Who Chesney knew? on there twice. I mean, twice. He, he did that. He did that. Kenny I mean, Chesney he's not telling is no better. Dude, lies, Kenny Chesney's worst song is better than this song. It's it's it's. Oh my god! It's really, it's really not not bad. Bad. It's it's hot, hot, I can't, I can't deal with the jokes. Tell me what you really think, man. Give, give it, give it to me, man. Come on. Now. The truth of the matter is, is like it's, it's not a song that you just like are like, dude, that's horrible music. But it's so like it to me. It was like that canned poppy, that crap Paul listens to. You know, it was just, it was, <laughs> it was a lot. So you like, say this was a positive song. This was like a upbeat, yeah, like it, it was, okay. it was, it was up, and yeah. like the beat was poppy and everything, but. To, to me, when I heard this song, I was like, man, like, they kind of, I can, I can see, y'all probably can't see it because y'all have known each other and listened to each other's music and stuff, all this stuff, but there's a thread running between all y'all, and this, this is the song that ties your playlist to Paul's playlist to Back to Chris's playlist. I mean, there, there's, there, this song right Not here no kind of had that, that upbeat, poppy type of, type of vibe to it that, that made me think, okay, I've heard this before, but I, although I've never heard this song, never heard of this artist, um, you know, I'll check out other stuff he's played and everything, but I don't know if this is like a one-off for him. Um, you know, it, it definitely was. Uh, it definitely had a different vibe than the rest of the playlist. So it, it made me think it was kind of a turning point. You know, like we're rounding a corner, going somewhere. 
but um, but yeah, just just not my not my cup of tea. I think what he's saying is that we musically cock dock each other. It's like one big human centipede exactly. of doing, yeah. music, sure. and I like that. But all I'm saying is, which kind of cock docking is it? Is it the saline where we like inject it into our dicks and blow it out to where it's big dicks, or is it like uncircumcised penis cock docking? And if that's the cho- if that's the case, who's the uncircumcised penis here? I just feel like a dick for even listening to it, to be honest with you. Also, how do you cock dock <laughs> three dicks? Like, where? I don't know. How do you Jesus even do that? Christ. I'm not sure. That's a whole different podcast. All right, Let's this is my last time I'm doing this. <laughs> is this is the last. I'm time? done. <laughs> but continue, Paul. Continue. I'm done after this. <laughs> that's, that's it. You crossed that's the fucking it. line. We, <laughs> hey, we out of here. You crossed the we fucking line. Now. That's fine. Hey, that's you, you need TV to leave the weird analogies to me, man. That was a little weird. You kind of weird me out right there. That was bad. Nasty Tom TV is not being a part of this cum dumpster of a fucking podcast. I cannot. Y'all are the worst. And I've said this kids. It's for the kids. I've said this every single fucking time. Off it's a kid podcast. You're not better than us, Justin. It's for the kids, all right? This is kids an abomination. This is a goddamn abomination. <laughs> y'all need to get y'all shit together. And then come talk to me. This Justin is it. act like we didn't sit there and have a cock dogging conversation just I the other day a at a bar. Prove it, you bitch. <laughs> I never said. N- I don't even know what a doc is. I don't know what. A, I don't know what that is. Hey, I listened well, to this playlist eight times this week, oh, and God. you're gonna bail on me over cock dogging? Come on, man. Come I'm on, man. Saying, this is that's the that's the like I'm sincerest gonna, form of flattery is when you cock dog with somebody. Review. Come on, come oh, on, man. Come on, come on, man. Hey man, no offense. <laughs> offense. <laughs> hey mine. Hey mine was a compliment. Yeah. At least mine was a compliment. Well, are, did you even say what you thought? Me? I, I don't even remember, Paul. I don't even remember what you what you said. Like you. Me, I talked about the cock docking. Yeah, was it? And that's that's your review of the song. Oh no, nah. Oh, I no, just wanted to talk good. about it. I just wanted to talk about the cock docking. That was for free. Every once in a while, you gotta sprinkle it in. I <laughs> mean, you got damn right. Up, you got damn right. Go ahead. Right, Go ahead, Slip Boy. So. Jesus. To me, this song was it was another one of those kind of like how the third song was. It's where where it's we're back in the elevator. It's a very upbeat song. I feel like we're falling him down to something that seems like a happier time. I myself had never heard of Kid Froopy, but I, I like the song. Creeping me hey. out, man. Creeping me <laughs> out. <laughs> It's, um, hey, it's Halloween, baby. Halloween season. It's I Halloween would like season. to actually check out some more of his uh, music, though. But yeah. it definitely does feel, like I said, hey, we're back in the elevator. Where the last one took us down, maybe this one is taking us back up. Uh, No. I'm happy that you guys got that out of it. The one thing about Froopy is he makes music for happy times and sad times. That is literally what he will tell you in any interview that he does. The songs you listen to, depending on your mood, will be that way. This song is poppy and happy as the beat is. Literally says, follow me down. Follow me down. Like, don't make a sound when you're down and you're feeling, like, empty. Like, literally, this song was probably one of his most depressing songs that he ever put out. But the beat itself, once again, was super happy. Like, you feel like you could dance to some shit. You know, you feel like you could dance to this, but literally it was a really depressing song and i wanted you guys to maybe hear this song and know like hey like you said maybe it's the elevator maybe it's the transition but you know that this is now taking a darker turn that now this album is starting to get lower and lower the truth is the entire album has already been low you're just now in it you're just in it and you're going deeper like you're not it's not gonna get any better like it's it's just down and down the thoughts throughout the day they're going to be troubling. You got to make it through the day. Can you make it? Can you make it through your day? Can you get stronger and stronger, you know, as the thoughts you have get darker and darker? Is this something you can do? Because now we're at this point where it's been okay. You know, it's been okay for now, but maybe those deep, dark thoughts are going to start creeping in. You know, you're going to follow me down. You're going to follow yourself down. Can you make it? You know, can you can you continue? And literally, I love that Chris said, you know, this was a song he thought was really happy and really poppy. He's going to, you know, he loved it. Chad was like, this is really poppy. It connects every song that you guys have listened to. And, you know, maybe Paul was like, maybe this is going to take us to where we need to be. But literally, this song is, you know, this is the opening. This is where we're we're at. We're we're going down, baby. Ain't, ain't no, where else you going to go? You're going down. Don't make a sound. 
let's just get let's get to it let's get to the next song so it's really funny that you guys hear these songs and what i was what i was hoping was maybe hey first listen you know this song was here and then after i listened to it a few more times this song was here and i'm I'm not getting that from you i'm getting like hey this was the first listen and this is all i got i just got the cream on the top i didn't quite listen to it again i didn't quite try to take it in so really interesting you guys stuck with the happy vibe really interesting but like i said this song is one of those things wherever your mood is when you hear it can dictate how you you know how you hear it what you get from it so yeah hey hey good job guys good job all right moving on tell me why i'm waiting by timmy's on the album passion and confusion yeah um it is me right yeah it is, yeah. it is now baby hey. all right so this song it kind of had that um you know it when i was listening to it through the week just you know i put it on i'm working and stuff like that i put it on later in the evening um this song it, to me was a contrast to the last song um having justin explain the last song i could see where the similarities lie like mm-hmm. the last song was really up and this song was really kind of like kind of through the doldrums you know kind of uh you know just kind of slow and kind of you know it, the good thing about it though is it was short this song <laughs> <laughs> fuck tell me how you really feel playboy tell me how you really feel no um it was it was cool it was kind of like that down groove you know i i just kind of when this song was on i just kind of kept that little slow nod you know kind of rolled through it and and it, it was kind of a down and depressing type song not to the point where it's like God dang, I gotta turn this off. But like, it moved along, had a, not, a good enough beat to keep me kind of with it. But um, but yeah, definitely put off a very like down vibe, like a almost like spent, you know, like ah oh, man, you know, looking in the in the scope of through the day. This is the part of the day where like, man, I got an hour left. You know, what I'm saying if I can if I can make it through this work day or this, you know, make it to the end of the day, trudging maybe through something. Yeah, it was kind of a trudging type song to to steal your word, but yeah um. Not a, not a bad song. Um, when I saw Timmy's, I thought it was a South Park thing. Um, <laughs> turns out it's not. So I was a little disappointed. Maybe that's what had me a little bit down. I was thinking Timmy, <laughs> but it wasn't. Um, but yeah, uh, and and once again, it had me. I'm serious. Like in this playlist, I'm like, it's been a common theme for me in the last three weeks of playlists. Listening to you guys or four weeks is where do they find these people? Like where do you? I could listen to music the rest of my life. I've, I got 41 years of music behind me. Well, I guess I ain't listened to it when I was like one, but I got like 40 years of music <laughs> behind me. Where do y'all find these people, man? And, and that's not a rhetorical question. Like, where do y'all find this stuff? I mean, literally, I found it maybe six months ago. It was the matter of fact, the playlist I was going to release before we stopped our last podcast, not to get into it, but we, we were doing a podcast, or we were thinking about doing a podcast we were thinking about you know releasing another mixtape where we put everything on hold this was actually going to be on that mixtape this was going to be one of those things i heard it on facebook and i was like damn this is sick this is a sick ass track but most of the time you can hear something on facebook you can see an ad you can hear whatever and think hey i need to find this song what is this song and that's it like it's just that hunger you know to be like oh well shit this is kind of catchy let me go find it yeah, uh, I do that too. I find songs that way, but also on the Spotify, you can turn it on where after a playlist ends, it'll keep playing songs somewhat similar to what you've been listening to. And I find a lot of songs that way just from listening to different mm-hmm. people's playlists, and the playlist ends, and it'll keep it'll keep playing music. It's like a never ending or something. It's a, it's in the settings somewhere on Spotify. I find it that yeah. way too. Yeah, I mean, I, if you I, ju- yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've seen those things and like you know Spotify. I I used to have Napster. I mean, you know that was that was my jam forever. <laughs> and doing this thing, you know, I switched over to Spotify. And that's one thing I like about Spotify. They do plug a lot of new music in there and stuff. But like, what artist gets you to this artist is the thing I was thinking. Like when I saw this, I'm like, honestly, lo-fi, lo-fi music is yeah. the shit. But that's I've always had a a heavy hip hop heart. Like I, I listen to Jay Dilla, Mad Lib, people like that that have like hell, I mean, there's Flylo, like there's a ton of people who have kind of made this basis, made this basis for a, a certain type of music. And this is just the offset. Like this is people that obviously listen to Jay Dilla, Flylo, Mad Lib, all of them putting their own spins on these samples. Like that's where it comes from. So I'm you know Jay Dilla, you know Slum Village. 
you know, I mean, you've listened to comment. You you know these people. Jay Dilla was a huge part of them, a huge part of you know hip hop music from the late '80s, '90s to early 2000s. Like he had that shit on lock. He influenced a lot of people, whether it was Pharrell or Kanye. You know, just some of your favorite producers. Like he literally was probably the basis for a lot of this music. So when I hear songs that remind me of you know stuff like he's done, you know, I always look out for him. But I think you know. Finding that track, I know, is you know maybe tough to kind of sift through and maybe get to that point. But definitely, there's a lot of like Jay Dilla and Madlib in what he, you know, what that last song kind of brought forth. What you think about it, Paul? Uh, yeah. So uh, this song immediately coming in from the last one, uh, I it's a sadder song. So in the last one, I was expecting, okay, we're gonna be going up a little bit, but no, like Justin was talking about. It takes us down. It uh, it not only the you know the the mood, but the tempo is down. Like everything is down at this point. Like we have like as we were mentioned before, it's a trudge at this point. I though I enjoy the song because hey, that's my shit. Like you know that I'm into it's, this it's type why. of music. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Anyways, um, uh, and so like as I was actually listening, to him, I'm like, is he saying why am I waiting if you don't give a fuck about me? Like as in he's waiting around for somebody to care about him that's never gonna care and so that's what i got from the song like you're you're waiting around you're hoping that thing is get turned around but this person's never gonna care about you and it's kind of a realization and that realization can sometimes be the most depressing part is the realization that why am i waiting around if you're never gonna care about me anyways what am i doing but you can't always change how you feel and so that is also another layer onto the, you know, depression aspect. But that's just what I got from it. Brings about a whole another set of choices you got to make when yep. you realization exactly. of that, you know. Very mm-hmm. thought provoking, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Blow your brains out. That's we'll give you that one. Oh yikes! <laughs> Don't say that too loud. <laughs> what is oh. that? Radio edit. <laughs> Chris, yeah, radio, Chris radio. is still glowing over there, dude. <laughs> I mean, he's this looking man like D my... under the lights, dude. He looks yeah, like he's coming off a mountain Bay, with commandments. Moth Bay would be after him. <laughs> Moth Bay, <laughs> Moth would be like, "Hey, look yeah. at this." Moth, I love him right this. now, we. Yeah, Moth, Moths are buzzing, waiting to get a shot. Chris Moth... is shooting some shitty '70s porn over there. Martha Stewart. <laughs> get this man just went blind for that. Bring an olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All right. Um, yeah, I like this song a good bit too. It uh, it reminded me a lot of a song I heard by XXX Temptation. I can't remember. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I look for that song, and it sounds just the way the guy singing and and the sort of the beat and the pacing. It, it sounds very similar. And it's a very short song. It's only two minutes and three seconds long. I, I liked it. Like, I, not I'm not saying I'm glad it was short. I, I liked it a lot. And uh, yeah, like Paul said, it's like you know tell me tell me why i'm waiting like a lot of people for some reason feel the need to tell me a lot of their personal stuff i don't know why it's always been like that and a lot of times they'll be like talking about how like oh yeah they, they broke up me blah blah and like they're like all torp i'm like well fuck them you know if they want to be with you why would you why are you going to sit there and waste your time on, on someone who doesn't want to be with you if they do come back to you why would you still want to be with them anyways like fuck them you know just move on but why are you going to wait why are you waiting on someone who doesn't want to be with you? That's that's it's 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 crazy to me. If someone doesn't want to be with me, I don't want to be with them. You know, same thing with friends, relationships, family. Like I I don't want to be somewhere I'm not welcome. You know what I mean? Like that's that's a big thing. Nice. And, okay. And, well, I'll see you guys later then. Y'all take it easy. I, that's always been a big thing. <laughs> that's in my, it. <laughs> and and in my uh in for, for me personally, same way with my son. I don't want to put my I don't want my son to be somewhere he's not welcome. You know. If, if 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 he's not gonna be welcome there, I don't want him there. Why are you going to wait for someone who doesn't want to be with you? You know, I don't know. That's it's just, just a little rant I want to go off on. Yeah, but well, yeah. Honestly, as far I love the that song. Shit. I I like the song a lot. Yeah, I mean, I love that shit. Like the fact that Chad seemed like he was actually asking questions. Like, how do you find this? You know, and we we touched into that. Like, this should be something we can do. Like, if a song makes you. Th- it, it brings up a fact, like, bring that shit in, you know, bring it up. Maybe I can, you know, enlighten you as to how I got to this point or in the album or, or something like that. Uh, really, though, I think Paul hit it on the head. I mean, you also hit it on the head, Chris. Like, you guys have that have that point of view where you were like, why am I waiting? Or even if it's a loved one, why are they waiting? Why, what, what the fuck are they doing? You know, these are thoughts that we all have 
throughout the day. You are you are going to hit that point where you're like, is there someone I love? Is there some is there a friendship that I need? Is there, you know, a viewer that I want to like me? Is there, you know, just this streamer that I want to care about me? Like why am I caring about this person and what they think when at the end of the day they may never even give a fuck? They may not, and it won't make me any difference. It it won't change my actual day to day life. But I'm stuck here trying to figure out why do they why do I want them to care? Why do I want them to, you know, you know, interact with me? Because like I said before, it won't make a difference. These are the thoughts you can have throughout your day. And as things have been going, you have your wants, you know, the reality kicks in. Can you deal with it? Can you deal with things when they're not like you want them to be? And I thought this song was perfect because, you know, I I feel like, you know, Chris right over here just got a little deeper than he'd gotten the entire playlist. He started talking about his family and shit. <laughs> he didn't just agree with what everybody was saying. <laughs> I, I, I mean, at it. He had yeah. opinions. <laughs> yeah, I look you know, at it also like a, like an investment. Like when mm-hmm. some people will invest their time like worrying or thinking about some stuff like like uh, could be like relationships, friendships, uh, romantic family stuff like that. like. You're investing a lot of your time into into stressing about it, thinking about it, regrets and stuff like that, about this person who doesn't give a shit about mm-hmm. you. Like they're not, they're not best. You're wasting your time and you're wasting your emotions on it. Yeah. Move past and, it. Get, I get mean, past also it. like leave them out, like cut them off. Like yeah. don't waste yeah. your time and invest your time and your emotions on it. Like like yeah. you're saying, like tell me why am I waiting? Why are you waiting? Yeah. Why? And the thing There's is, no is. Sometimes it's not that person just being an asshole and not caring about you. Sometimes they're just they're just focused on whatever they're doing. They're just, you know, they've got their priorities. Their day. They're trying to, you know, care about other things. They're trying to find out why another person doesn't care about them. They've got something going on. So it's not necessarily that they're being malicious. They're just, you know, they've got their thing going on. But you also sometimes need to wake up and say, oh, yeah. hey, why am I caring? Why or, am I caring about this situation? Yeah, it's not always malicious. You're right. You're right yeah, about that. But at the same it. point, yeah. it's like this person, like this person, like he, he's, he's, he's wasting his time. It's, it's, yeah. it's time. That's it. You don't person, always, you don't always on. realize that you're wasting your time at the like, mm-hmm. the, like I said this before. This song is a realization. This isn't like it, it doesn't feel like he's known it the whole time. This is the realization of what's going on. But as Justin was talking about, it's not always now. I understand what Chris is talking about. How, you know, if somebody's like just doesn't give a fuck about them, like you've had this crush on somebody who doesn't even give you the time of day, like why the fuck am I waiting around? But this song is deeper than that because it could be like this is somebody that you could be hanging out with every day. This is somebody that you could be spending your time with, going to, you know, doing all kinds of stuff with, you know, spending your energy with. But it's, you know, it's stuck because this person may be stuck, especially the songs that happened before somebody else had a heartbreak. So maybe that person who had the heartbreak is now has this person in limbo, even if they don't realize that they have them in limbo because you have your own shit to worry about. Like we demonize people who but we don't know their situation. And that could be exactly what's going on here is yeah. somebody is has had a bad situation happen to them and now unfortunately it's making a bad situation for somebody else that's just life though it's 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 unfair yeah, but it is that's... it isn't always white, black and white you're at like some right. like it isn't always black and white hey know? i'm glad you guys are now getting into it baby that's what i like so hey, what, and, hey what's the next song and, and for oh, the record though chris here. paul never said your son can't come over he just said he can't be around his turtles that is what I Ooh, said. He's, he's welcome over. I never said hey, that he wasn't. you got a good kid, so. though, Chris. Salmonella hey. boy. <laughs> hey, Chris, you got a good kid. You got a good kid. You got a good kid. Yeah, he's a good kid. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> he's a good boy. Oh, boy. no. Oh, God. Allegedly. Allegedly. Smoke Allegedly, crack. yeah. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I love that moving on. I fucking love it. Right Where It Belongs by Nine Inch Nails on the album With Teeth. Is it me? Is it Chris? It's you, buddy. It don't matter at this point. (laughs) All Um, at once. So, uh, (laughs) you know, this is something that I did kind of expect um, some Maynard on there. Because Justin, especially once he starts getting down into the mud, Justin loves some Maynard. uh, Which I can't can't fault him for. Um, uh, Nine Inch Nails is somebody who, when I was young, I actually didn't like. Because, you know, I felt like they were trying to be edgy for edgy's sake. 
But then as I got older and listened to more music that they actually did, I understood them more and I understood more of where Maynard comes from. Um, even some of his, you know, solo stuff, because he actually does a lot of like solo stuff that's just him. That's really, really good. Um, but anyway, so this is uh, it's this song is very haunting uh, as a couple of the other songs in this uh, this playlist has been. And he's talking about what if life isn't what you think it is? Like, what if your life is fake? What if everything around you isn't real or isn't what you've made it out to be? Um, and you could take this two ways. You could take it, you know, the, the Cody G route where, hey, everything's a fucking yeah. simulation. <laughs> or you could take it the route that, like, um, you know. Hey, R. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, R.I.P. Cody G. Hey. The bus around um, the corner. So he can either be talking about, is everything a simulation? Or you could take it two other ways. Everything is either not as good as you think it is, or everything's not actually as bad as you think it is. Like we, we, we hold on to the extremes of each side. So sometimes we're like, Hey, life is going great. There's nothing wrong when there's shit all around us. And then there's a lot of times when well, we know people, I mean, I'm one of the ones that does the same thing. Like there's so much good that's happening in life, but we only hold on to the bad and we focus on it. So like, what if life, like, what if your view of this life is fake? It's not what you think it is. And so that's what I got from the song really deep. One of, one of my, I've heard this song many times. Like I said, you know, I've gone through Nine Inch Nails a few times. Um, so this is actually one of the songs that I, I like to put on as kind of background music. And I don't mean that in, in any kind of bad way. It's just, it's very mellow. So, it, but it makes you think at the same time. So it is some, It is a song that I previously like very much enjoy. Now you love uh, it even more. I understand. That's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I uh, a lot of times when we we listen we do go over these playlists and we'll come to a song and I'll say like I didn't it's a good song but I personally didn't care for it or something like that. I had to break my own rule, my personal rule with this song. I couldn't listen to this whole song. Every time I listen to this playlist, I I, I skip this song. I it's too real. Hate, I too hate real? this song. I hate Nine Inch Nails. Too real. This is too so real? fucking bad. God, I cannot get this. It's too real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too real. Yeah, yeah. It's we too real. Chris does it down. Dude, let him go. I want to hear it. Go, Chris. Yeah. Go. Yeah, go. I, I tried, man. Every time I listen to this playlist, I, I try to listen to this whole song. It's five, five minutes and four seconds song. It's so fucking long. And it's just so, this guy just, he just goes on. It's just so... Oh God, it's droning. so droning, very droning. God damn, it just, I, I hate this song so much. I've never liked it. And this is years. coming from the synth pop master right here, this guy. Hey, this is pop master. And like I said, normally I say, hey, you know, the song's a good song. I just don't like it personally, but fuck this song. I, I just, <laughs> I, I just, taking a strong stance. I love it. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good stuff, man. All, All right, right, tell us, chat, what you think? Okay, so Nine Inch Nails, man. That's the only time I ever really listen to Nine Inch Nails. You want to get fucked like an animal. At the strip club, man. You know, they want to do you like an animal. And then there was a couple other Nine Inch Nails songs, but I never really was a big fan. Um, you know, I, a lot of my friends like Nine Inch Nails. I never really saw the appeal. But this song actually was a song of theirs that I kind of liked. It seemed like they were more than just some hard edge, you know, <laughs> type, type, type band. Um, you. And, and I went the I went the Cody G God rest his soul route and went like you know I was like I was like what is Justin saying like at the end of the day he thinks this whole thing is a simulation, simulation yeah like, this is not real I mean, this shit all like, the that, fucking time. That it ain't. That, yeah that blew my mind I was like he's one of us <laughs> brother Alex one Jones. of us what the fuck are y'all on no, no, no. <laughs> right, once again can't be a part of this. Point. Hey, Sorry, y'all. Hey, one of us, I'm talking about like who believes that this whole thing is the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? Like this, these deep rooted lizard people, conspiracy theory people. I knew you were one of us. I'm glad you're on board. You signaled me here. I <laughs> got it. Wink, wink, wink. We're good. We're good. We have a meeting next Thursday. I'm glad you. Came. Every few months he would do this. He'd come up and be like, guys, what if the what if the Matrix? Reason. Every single he'd do that. Like every few months he'd come up with that. <laughs> y'all want some other shit, and I like it. And I'm like, maybe the earth is flat. <laughs> maybe, maybe, man. Maybe we're wrong. But no, of all the Nine Inch Nail songs I've listened to, which is only a few, I really, I thought this one was okay. It was pretty good. Cool. All right, yeah, man. Um, literally, I, I thought this song was going to be taken a couple of different ways. I literally was thinking, like, Chris is not going to be able to listen to this. 
He like literally, I was like, this is not a Chris song from what I've heard on his albums from every time he's heard a certain song that was maybe speaking about a surreality, a, you know, a questioning what you believe type song. It may not be his thing. I was thinking, Paul, he's listened to Nine Inch Nails before. He knows what this is about. And then I knew with Chad, he's just a clusterfuck. He's going to be <laughs> all over the place. Like, that's just how it's going to go. That's just, that is Nailed it. it. <laughs> but no lie, this song was the crux of the entire album. I knew at a certain point I was going to have to put a Nine Inch Nails song on a playlist. I don't think I had done it before. And I felt like there was <clears throat> a point where we need to... I needed to reintroduce myself because I'd done a few mixtapes that weren't officially, you know, a part of our podcast, you know, you know, review crew. And I was like, L- Chad did his orientation. I need to let everybody know where I'm coming from. I need to let them know the different types of music that I listen to and, and love. This is actually one of my favorite songs of all time. I love me some Trent Reznor. Like, like Paul said, like Paul said, you know, when, when shit gets That's real amazing. sometimes, when you get so in, a, in a certain area. Out of tool. Yeah. yeah, I meant Res- uh, I knew, Reznor. I knew, yeah, I, I wasn't. I mean, I'm not you're good. You're good. You're good. Hey, Go back and I knew what you bad. was talking about. I mean, you made a fool of yourself, and I'm not ever going to stop that. Nah, not ever tool, stop that. nine inch nails. I bet that shit gets edited difference. out. I bet but, don't. <laughs> but no lie, like legit, this song was the crux of the album. The entire thing started off with how can I put this song at the beginning of the, the playlist? It was too heavy. How can I have this song end? at the playlist it's too fucking heavy like the entire playlist becomes about that about you know questioning your reality the safe things that you put around yourself and this the entire like you know group that we're in i think a lot of y'all love south park there was an episode of south park where they were talking about like the bubbles that you know people put themselves in and you know these but they they touch on some real shit they were like we put ourselves like we don't put ourselves into the real you know world we like to keep ourselves safe this song touches on that like you're you're always going to have these things that make you feel good or you know you can listen to a certain song or watch a certain movie or surround yourself with certain people that you know will make you feel good and you won't have to deal with something but at the end of the day that shit's gonna come around you're gonna have to deal with it you can't always run away from it you know what are you gonna do when that shit hits the fan you know we always have these little things and you know, one day that shit's going to hit the fan and you've got to, you know, be strong enough to get past it. This is a thought you're going to have. This is a thought you may have had, but really, you know, it, it's not bad or good. It is literally just saying, hey, we put ourselves in bubbles. You know that everything you do isn't the real you. You hang out with friends. You put on a certain, you know, facade. You hang out with your parents. You put on a certain facade. You hang out with your loved one, you know, your your spouse or a significant other, and you act a certain way around them. It's just, it's just reality. That that is your reality. You know, even if it's a lot of fake stuff or you're feeling like it's fake, it's your reality. You know, it's it's the things you do every day. And once again, once you you know come to terms with that, can you make it through the day? Can you handle all of that? Can you can you put up with it? So this song, like I said, was the crux. It was too heavy to have it be the ending. It was too heavy to have it start. And everything just had to flow around it. This song was perfect for me, but I knew it was going to rub some people the wrong way. And that's just, you know, that was the risk I was willing to take. That was just it. I was like, fuck it. It's my playlist. I wanted to have some meaning. Not everybody's going to get what, you know, I want them to get out of it. But if some people do, you know, that's a win. That's a uh, just to be clear, I did not get far into the song to know what the song was about. Oh yeah, oh so, oh yeah. That's that's, that's even that. worse. That's even worse <laughs> than I thought. But hey, you that's you. Hey, if you don't like a song, you don't like it. I mean, you can't. You know what I mean? Like you can't. You can't fake the funk. You can't yeah. unfunk a duck. Yeah, yeah. No worries, bro. I just knew, like off top, it may not. It was. I thought it was gonna end up in like, hey, just as. Didn't think you were gonna be like. At all. You know, that's how it goes sometimes. It'd be like It'd that. It'd be like that. It'd be like it really do, though. It really do be like that. It'd really be like that. All right, moving on. <laughs> Up next. <laughs> I know it's not easy, but you're not alone anymore. From In Love With A Ghost on their album, Healing. And Dude. I'm out. I'm out next. Yep. All right. Uh. This is a uh, this is definitely like a transitioning song. Uh, I, we sometimes use our filler, 
Um, it's it's uh, uh, all there's no lyrics to the song, but uh, it, it's very poppy. You can tell it's definitely moving the mood from you know the really shitty song going on to like other music. Uh, <laughs> Damn, transitioning, you know, if you will. Uh, I like it. It's 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 very uh, light hearted. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, Tell me I, how you really feel. Just, I, I I like it. It's, it's on. I mean, it it's, uh, he says he likes I, it, Justin. I, like I said before, yeah. uh, like I said before, I think in um, one of my I like the playlist we did in mine. I I like songs that's like no lyrics. It's just music, you know. That's what I, like. I think every song on here that's been mostly like non-verbal, I've liked it. So that's all I gotta say about that. That's all I got to say about that. Great Dang. movie. Hey, uh, yeah, this song, when I got to this song, I thought my damn Spotify subscription had ran out or something. It was, like, <laughs> staticky for, like, the first, like, 20 seconds of the yeah. song. It was, like, this, this, like, I was, like, do I drop, did I drop it? Like, I looked, and it was still playing, but I couldn't hear it coming out of my speaker. I thought my Bluetooth had disconnected. I was, like, what in the fuck is going on? And then, uh, then I listened to it the second time. I was, like, it's, damn, this thing keeps screwing up every time this song. It's pretty much the same spot. Uh, so that was the first part. Then when it came in, it was like piano and kind of like had a little more like classical vibe. So I, I really, it threw me for a loop as far as what direction you were going with the playlist and like with the song. Um, obviously, you know, it, once again, it's one of those songs that, you know, I, I, I kind of, it was, it was almost like filler, but like I'm sitting here like this cloud of music comes over me and I'm listening to it and I'm like. I'm trying to peek through the cloud and find the like, you know, what what does this mean specifically to the playlist? And um and I was just having a hard time doing it. But I'll be honest, like this one and the other one that you had in there, that red song, um, they're just cool little, you know, I like I like music, I like different instruments, I like it was something different. Um, so I, I liked it. I'm not saying I didn't like the song, but it left me scratching my head going, Where where why are we here now? Like what is what does it all mean? One minute we're in the Matrix, and I'm like, yes, reality's not real. And then the piano music brings me back in. I felt like I was being snapped out of, like, hypnotism. Like, what? And then, and especially <laughs> especially in the beginning where it was, like, staticky at first. I was like, what is, he, what is this? Like, what is going oh on? Oh, my God. All right. Yeah. 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 The nail on the head. yeah. So this, uh, to me, like the red song, this is a transitional song. Um, uh, it's it's good. I like everybody said before. It's very up. It's upbeat. It feels like background music to like uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, like an, a happy Nintendo game, or it feels like background music to something like uh, like Adventure Time or something like that. It's very it's very kind of weird type of music, like the I don't know how to even describe it, but that. Burp, 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 burp. You know, like a oh, kind of, bar, 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 bar. yeah. Dun, dun, no, dun, 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 dun. I know what the hell you're talking about. You didn't even listen to the song, did you? You and Chris did not listen. Again. You didn't listen to this playlist. Sing it again. I listened to this song. I'm telling you. I, I mean, I didn't even listen to it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he just threw it in here. <laughs> I'm just making this shit up as I go, yo. <laughs> Dude, yeah, you got hey, me with that little fun on the match for wing seconds. Here, buddy. I was like, what in the hell is going on? Or like a you know Katamari game. Da, yeah. Da, 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 yeah, something like that. Da, 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 so it's just a like a happy background transition. There's not much to really say about it for me. It's just it's we're transitioning to something happier. That's okay. Yeah, I mean to an extent, uh like I said, you know, this this playlist has a bunch of different layers to it. Not everybody's gonna get what like you want onion. them to get out of a song. You know what I mean? Like everyone listens to a song a different way. This song literally had its meaning in its title. There was nothing there. Like you're you're not alone anymore. You know, trying to you know after the whole Trent Reznor, you know him questioning your reality. Are you really alone? Are you really in a bubble? Are are you separate? You know, separating yourself from these people, like with cutting your ties and doing all this shit. You know, maybe at the end of the day, you're not really alone. You know, maybe you know everything's okay. You know, at the end of the day, but. You don't know. You just don't know. And that was one of the best things about this song. You can take from it what you get from it. Uh, literally, the way they made it uh, to sound was "You're Not Alone Anymore." I believe I had this artist on one of uh, one of the previous mixtapes where you know I made it specifically for Paul. You know, it was time. You know, trying to help him get through in a better time. I couldn't use the same song that I gave him, even though I wanted to. But this song was right in that same area where it was like, "Hey, you're you know you may be going through some bad shit." shit may get too real sometimes but there's you know there's another side there's another side to shit so really i thought this song was perfect for this point 
and it kind of keeps to that same vibe where it's not like things aren't getting better you know you're just learning to cope and that's just that's just how it goes sometimes that's how it goes do you think the static was us listening for aliens could be definitely i mean Prove you that always have to know so, i mean I mean, Chad and aliens I'll, go together. I like, want to believe. <laughs> booties and butts. I also want to believe. Hmm. All right, moving on. Clouds by Cal hmm. on the album Cloud, Light Cal. of Cal. Mine. That's you. That's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I like Cal. I'm, that's another artist that uh, that I recognize um, on the playlist. I'm, uh, I'm like two or maybe three for ten on that. Um, but yeah, this song I hadn't heard from Kyle. Um, it kind of, it was, it was a little bit different than some of the other songs that I'd heard from him. Cause you know, some of it was collaboration stuff he'd done with other artists, but, um, yeah, I, I feel like this was definitely the, the wrap up song, you know, this, um, this kind of brought everything home. Like at the end of the day, you're coming home, things are, things are cool. You kind of just alone in your thoughts, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, kind of making sense or, or regathering yourself kind of at the end of the day type feel, uh, feel for me. Um, I liked it. Um, I'm not even sure what album it came off of. Chris, can you hit us with that album title? It's from the album Light of Mine. So that's not his newest stuff, is it? It's well, Yeah, it's one of that his is. newer ones. Is it? It's his newest, it's his latest album. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I haven't heard a whole lot on that album, but, um, but good. yeah, I like the song. Uh, fan of Kyle, fan of, and I'll be checking out that album. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just want to say this, that this song coming at the end of it, you know, there was, I was like, where are we and everything? And this kind of brought me back to, okay, I feel, sa- I'm, I'm back in a familiar. I'm in a safe space. I yeah, mean, yeah. y'all, yeah. chat, stay high on Molly. <laughs> he's, rolling, he's rolling right now. He's why do you think he's got sunglasses why I don't wear sunglasses. It doesn't matter. I mean, I don't even have have eyeballs. that's why he didn't know what was going on. This is Jordy the Ford shit, man. Y'all make fun of blind people all the time or just now? All the time. And just now. Um, okay. Pause. Nasty Time TV does not make fun of blind people. You should hear him on Chad, just so you know, Paul hates Star Trek, so be really? careful making those Star Trek references around him. I mean, it's just Star know. Trek and not the people of color on there that he hates. Right. All of them. Mm, I hate them all well, equally. Mm, I mean, you know, I, I, eh, you know wrong with that. the inflection in my tone. <laughs> 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 you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I love reading Rainbow, though, so. The That's true, yeah. Rainbow. Not for the main character, though. Take a look. It's in a book. Right. Reading Rainbow. Rainbow. Hey, well, I hate they're show. supposed to be bringing it back though, for real. They already brought it back on Netflix, but did they? Is it? It's yeah, they brought broad. it back on Netflix. It this was on Netflix for a little while, and then that stopped. So I don't know. If it, I don't know what's going on after that. Anyway, this is not a review of <laughs> Reading Rainbow. This it is a review. A good of show, man. It it's a good show. I mean, it is a what, good show. What are you saying? That me and the guy from Reading Rainbow have resemblances? No, he said Jordy LaForge. That's the guy from yeah, Reading Rainbow. Jordy LaForge. Nah, that's nah, that's Rainbow. different. That's Lamar, yeah, that's Burton, LeBar, Lamar Burton is not <laughs> Jordy LaForge. <laughs> he is Jordy LaForge. You can call me on that. I'm not making a fool of myself. take that right. to the goddamn bank. All right? <laughs> take it to the bank. <laughs> Except in, I wait, like, but he was blind in Star Trek, but yet he could read books? What's up with that? The it's the visor, man. Life. That's why hey, the visor. He can see. He can see different wavelengths. It's the stuff. world of tomorrow, man. All it different realities. Let me take you back yeah. to track number eight. <laughs> world of tomorrow. How <laughs> uh, you doing it? Did we finish? What are we doing? It's you. Oh. It's you, man. You're the problem. You're the problem. You're the problem. problem. You're the problem. Dad's the problem. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, so, oh, yeah, 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 okay, I'm back on track, I'm back on track. Y'all got me off track with fucking reading Rainbow. I mean, you know, they retards, but, <laughs> and nothing's wrong with that. <laughs> so, nothing's wrong. We so, just call it like it is. mad if you're late, if you're already tardy. Boop. Hey, <laughs> or if you've been tardy huh. before, you are now retardy. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all wrong for that one. That's, you can't argue with that logic. I mean, you know. Are you saying large, Logic is retardy? Logic is. I like Logic. <laughs> He's like a slower version of Logic. <laughs> Lethargic. Lethargic. <laughs> Boom, baby. <laughs> Boom. Late nights. Late nights. Bang, right. bang, 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 bang. It's technically tomorrow. Oh, God. No, it, it is over here on my time. Where Chris is tomorrow. Over here. So where are we at? Wrap up? Are we done? No, you no, no. You finish yours you... on this song, man. Kyle, Kyle. Oh, the last Kyle. song, last song. Wait, <laughs> Jesus. How am I supposed to know? Oh, it happens every time. Happens every fucking time. <laughs>
All right. So this is not gonna get cut out. Don't worry. This is all gonna be <laughs> <up>. <laughs> 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 Yep. Yep. Together. This is it. <laughs> hey, we gonna start now. And go. Fuck Paul. Back to Paul. Three, two, one. <laughs> Paul. Uh, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> Um, I have not seen the new Reading Rainbow yet. I would like to. I'm going to be checking it out on Netflix right after this. So, in conclusion, uh, yeah. The link below. No, no, no. All right. Enough playing around. So, Justin knew he had me with this song because I love Kyle. Like, there's not a lot that Kyle has put out. In fact, I have shit on other artists for what Kyle has done. Because one of his albums was nothing but music. That's not like, true. literally nothing but music. And I would have hated that from anybody else. But he did it, and it was great. I, I can't tell if it's you because of my own, uh, what would you call that, like fanboy, yeah, dick sucking or not, but it was a good album. But um, yeah, so Here's Kyle's new stuff the, is, I, he had some stuff where he was rocky, but he's back on track, and this is the same for this song. Um, it's the It's a great way to wrap up. We've had our, I guess, nothing but downs. Fuck you, man. What are you doing? I was Come yawning, here. man. I don't trust you over here. You trying? To... I don't. I don't trust me either, man. Did you just Fucking grab my ass dick over here? Is that your butt or mine? I. Huh? Huh? Anyways. Okay. I couldn't talk about cock docking, but you can keep doing the dick sucking thing, and I that's did, fine. Dude, I yawned. So Yikes. self-conscious about your cock sucking. <laughs> Anyways. Y'all, this stream is brought to you by BBC. <laughs> <laughs> BBC America. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's BBC. I ain't going no further. Just... Where was that? BBW. You were talking about how much you loved Kyle and how much you wanted to jerk. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah so you know, best. blowing Kyle wouldn't definitely be the worst thing ever. You know, I'm not saying that I want to sit here and suck off Kyle, but I'm not oh, saying God. that if the chance was, you know, around, that I wouldn't do it. Didn't you have a shower dream about Sus Kyle? From Kyle. Don't bring that up. Oh my bad. Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, I'm about to puke. Oh, uh, puke on stream. Uh, 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 Anyways, back to the review. But no, for real. But no. So, this, Kyle, uh, this song by Kyle, for real, Justin knew that he had me with this one. It's very good. I feel like it wraps up everything perfectly. It's, it's exactly what he was talking about. No, it's not talking about things are better. But you just have to be proud of where you are and proud of where you came from. He even talks about, you know, a family member looking down from uh, uh, at him from heaven. And I was like, I know he's looking down proud at me. He knows what I've been through. He knows that the work that I've done. And here I am. And no, everything's not perfect. And I'm not great at everything. And I'm not always happy. But I need to look up instead of constantly looking down at myself. You know, we have to learn to be happy with ourselves and we have to look at our own accomplishments and be like, hey, I did that. And that's what I got from it. Also, you know, blowing Kyle wouldn't be the worst thing. I mean, he said that two times now, so, you know. If he's got honey buns. Yeah, I, I bet he does, man. He's got to have yeah, I mean, honey buns. He loves honey buns. You tell you what, if you get a honey bun, put it in the microwave for about five seconds or yeah. something. Mm. Good. <laughs> So you damn take gooey. out a wrapper though, because that 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 icing starts melting on the wrapper, you end up looking like a fool licking a wrapper. You got you got a mess on your hands then, but man, you know about like, licking wrappers for twenty warm minutes, don't you? Wrapper. A warm honey bun. Oof. Anyway, y'all dude. nasty. Really but good. the warm honey bun sounds good. It's just y'all talking about y'all wrapper experiences. Hey, no it's good. good. I'm telling you, it tastes to the next level. A honey bun's good already. <laughs> I eat uh -huh. honey bun where I can get it, but this is Chris's point of view. We need a Chris's corner. Welcome to Chris's Chris corner. corner. Today on Chris's buns. corner, we're going to be talking about honey buns. Honey. Aren't they the new donut? <laughs> Are they the new donut? <laughs> I mean, you be a lot. <laughs> oh man, um, this is hot honey bun takes. Really, at this point in the in the playlist, I mean, it's obvious you guys just didn't get shit of what I was trying to put down. Um, that's me being too harsh. Legit, I, I applaud each and every one of you. You guys got some of the stuff I was trying to put out, and once again, that's a W. Like you are not going to get what every person wants you to get from putting a song on a playlist. That's that's impossible. Like unless you, you know, you you do a ton of Molly like Chad, and that's fifty fifty. Like it's he, he's either going to get everything you want out of it, or he's not going to get shit. As evident in every single playlist he's reviewed to this point on. I mean, he's consistent though. He's 100% consistent, and I am proud of that. But <laughs> y'all think I look what... at music like y'all do? It's different for me, man. Yeah, right. but just just from the 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 start of this song to the end of it, 
just from the start of the playlist to this. I song. ain't gone yet, Justin. <laughs> it. I thought you went. I thought you started us off. I, I was thinking went. about just letting you go, but I was like, oh, I better put. I better say something. Well, I mean, well, go ahead. Go ahead, then. Go I ain't ahead. I'm any of this. None. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. What yeah, you got for me, Chris? Out. You about to say you agree with Paul? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Go. Get, get on to get. Get on to get. Do what get you gotta do. Get. You know me too well, Justin. Damn it. Damn. Yeah, you know me too well. Uh, this is actually. <laughs> Uh, I, I I also like Kyle. I've heard him. Uh, I've heard a couple of his songs before. So I think Kyle and Nine Inch Nails are the only two artists in this playlist that I know. Uh, I do. I like the song a good bit. I too. would also uh, say Kyle's dick, like Paul. Yeah, he's good. He's, he's, he's good, dude. man. He's not, not an attractive guy. guy. He looks t- very goofy, but you know, there's nothing wrong it's with not- our homoerotic. Yeah. And it's and you know it's not even about looks or it's not about wanting to suck the dude's dick. It's I I you know I appreciate him that much. It's all about the sweet. All right, well, yeah, he's really ahead. good. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the song a good bit. Uh, I like it. Still, it's very. Uh, I don't know what word to use to, to describe it. Very. Don't say poppy. Slither. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what word to use to describe it. It's, it's very. Poppy? It's got a unique sound for sure. Uh. Ethereal, maybe I don't know, it, but uh, like Paul said, the the, the context matter is really good about uh, but the whole clouds looking down from the clouds and stuff. Uh, it's a good song. Uh, I liked it. Uh, I definitely need to listen to more Kyle. I've heard about four or five of his songs, but I have definitely heard as much as you boys have. So I will gig. I'll be definitely listening to more of him. <laughs> and that is my hot take. Hot take, baby. All right. Um. Now back to what I was yeah, fucking saying. Is. You know, no man. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed that song at least, Chris. I mean, you know, it's tough to please you. <laughs> but, hey, uh, not, you got nine out of ten. There was only one song on there I fucking hated. So I mean, that's that's an amazing thing. Like, actually, I don't think we've had in the history of this podcast someone say I just couldn't listen to this song, and I'm gonna take that shit to the fucking bank and it like, was your favorite is, song that you made the yeah, entire like, playlist but, around bro. Yeah, it's all, like <laughs> legit like no no chris i don't want you to take that anyway i just knew this was not a chris song and i to the like to the point i didn't expect you to say hey i'm not gonna listen to this at all but legit i knew like hey i'm gonna just nap on that you. song is not a chris song it's but a back bad song, on, man. Uh, yeah, hey, but back on to, you <laughs> know, song, I mean, you know, regardless <laughs> if, you know, more than two, three million people love the song and it's one of their mo- most played songs, you know, it being a bad song is not a reflection <laughs> on you or me, you know, in your taste, but we're uh, going to move lot, on. We're not going to be petty. People, that's all I'm we're not, hey, we're not going to be petty. We're just going to say, hey, I'm glad you guys like the Kyle song. It was the wrap up that this album needed, but it was also their segue into the next song. His app, and by the next song, which was the first song, like literally, he was talking about the entire time he wanted love, he wanted to not be alone. You know, he had to accept things that he wasn't, you know, quite happy with, but that's just the way they are. He's going to tell himself he's all right and he's going to move forward. He's going to hopefully find love one day. It's going to be great. The next song says, Hey, all I need is love. And then the entire cycle continues. If that's sad and depressing, fuck it that's that's how life goes but this was not a happy playlist it was never meant to be a happy playlist it was meant to be under the guise of a happy playlist like we we wake up we put on these faces these fronts in front of other folks you know we try to make it through our day while just keeping everything contained that's what this was this was to make you think maybe make you question some shit if that happened you know that's cool hey, what's up paul you talk chris crash okay uh, no he's he's jumping you boys crashed no, it's so much. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I wasn't gonna stop it. I mean, we, a, that's just how it was Scott gonna Bacula go. Quantum leap move right there. That was wild. yeah. That's that's just how it was gonna go. But legit, this was one of those playlists, like I said, where it was just under the guise of happiness. I was hoping you'd listen to the playlist one time. The second time you listened to it, it had an entirely different vibe. All those songs you thought were super positive and poppy, you know, aren't that. They're just not that. That's just not what it is. Uh, it was just like, hey, sometimes reality isn't fun, but we make, you know, we make do, we do the best we can, we try to be strong, and, you know, we just make it to the next day. You know, it is, you know, through the day, can you make it? Everybody has to make it. If you don't, you're a quitter. Sounds like a cry for help. Justin. Just like spitters. 
quitters. I mean, you know, hey, might be a cry for help, but shit, I made it. This is his 13 long. reasons, huh? We're, we're here. Huh? Hey, we're here for hey you, every bro. single playlist I put out has been my. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're almost I've at been, the end there. I got, like, at this point. So, shit, baby. I'm stacking the bank. When I get to 100, <laughs> ain't nobody tell me I was in the wrong. Can't nobody be like, hey, well, Justin, well, shit, you should have held off. It's a done daughter. <laughs> but no, legit, my life is fucking fantastic. I am surrounded by some of the dumbest motherfuckers I know, and yeah, they yeah. make me feel smart. They make me feel smart, and I'm, you know, but legit, like, this was just one of those things. I was like, hey, what are some of the thoughts we have throughout the day that people have throughout the day that, you know, you can be introspective on? You can kind of question all this shit, you know, and, it, and they're not bad thoughts. Shit's going to cross your mind, and it's just how you deal with it how you make it, how you get past, how you, you know, maybe you have to compartmentalize. Maybe you have to just, you know, realize like, hey, I'm doing better than this given situation. I've had to cut some people off, you know, but that was for the best. I've had to, you know, make some sacrifices, but that was for the best. I've, you know, lost some people, but, you know, I'm, I'm stronger for it and I, and I hold their flame. You know, it's just stuff like that that I like to make people think. If I'm going to make a playlist, it's not just going to be, the surface level stuff if you can't get past that that's not your fault but if you can you're rewarded for it you know what i mean like that's just that's how i like to do it that's what i want to do i want to make you think i want to make you have an actual discussion my hopes and dreams are that maybe you know we'll get a guy like fucking chris who's stuck in froze zone over there oh no he's just being real still he almost fell asleep <laughs> he almost fell asleep but maybe somebody like him might give a song i'm that, always here for you baby don't worry that he might not like or listen like he might actually be like well shit maybe this is this is something it, worth listening to it may not it have was, any it was a bad song it wasn't that i didn't like it it was just a bad song i mean you know one in the same bro fix shit fix shit <laughs> well on a steady like you know frame you know you skip <laughs> frames right now but legit the song itself it's neither here nor there. It's just what it makes you think about. You know, what it makes you think about. If it can elicit a, resp a response, I'm happy with that. Like, I take small victories, and I, you know, and I'm happy with that. So, I'm glad I'm glad you guys enjoyed most of this. I know Chad didn't enjoy shit of it, but... Hey, uh, That's not yeah. true. I, I said <laughs> there was only two songs I shit on in the whole thing. And, and the rest of the songs, some of them, I just, like I said, if you want to give me a message. You just didn't understand. It's okay. You gotta, it's you gotta give, yeah, you got to give me words, man. You know, you I get it, man. Now, it's, now it's Justin's turn to be mad about when people don't understand. Oh, how the tables have turned. Doesn't feel too good, does it, Justin? I mean, that's when people life, don't though. listen to your playlist. That's, that's, hey, that's been my life, man. It's been my life. So I'm cool with it. That's why we're here, boys. <laughs> that's why we're yeah. here. To I mean, not listen, listen to playlists to and talk to you about it. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see what the viewers at home think about the playlist. So make sure you, yeah. you know, check out the playlist. It's all in the links below. Leave your comments. Subscribe. Check it all out. Check, check, check it what out. What was your what, thoughts what, what, on what's the it all about? Uh, Nine Inch song, Nail song? Was it good, <laughs> or was it actually, honestly? Just well, unfortunately, because song. well, pause, pause. Uh, because of the people that pause, all of them are gonna love that shit, and you know that's how. Just what they how? Bro, it, that's just how it goes, man. You've got bad. It's okay. We've oh, admitted yeah. this. I, I, I admit that. I, I, I mean, I yeah. So, like, dude, it's okay. Like, I'm, I'm not saying. But I admit we're it. We're stating truths. We're only stating truths here. This you is know. a. This is. A, this is a safe space. Yeah. And look. In a place of honesty. We, and that song uh, is honestly bad. So we've bad. all had a crack at putting our music out there. That's it. And I would That's just it. like That's to say, it. you three's musical taste is shit. I thought I had a musical <laughs> taste. I mean, even you just took Kenny Chesney every fucking song. I mean, y'all's musical Why? taste. Like, I, I, I thought there was I mean, no way I'm point, coming in here and taking the cherry off the top of this yeah. Sunday. If I had to rank it, let's let's be honest. Musical taste, starting from the 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 very bottom. You know, I'm gonna put Chad. I'm gonna put Chad okay. here. Y'all didn't even know what a Testarossa was, man. All right, man. now at the bottom, Chad, and that's because he had a a fucking top ten album waiting to go, and they just threw it down the fucking drain. So I'm gonna take <laughs> points away. I'm gonna take points away <laughs> because he just fucking life, wasted man. my. That's me. He I was trying me. to introduce myself. It sounds like he his orientation. Yeah. So it sounds like it worked. Up. Sounds like I hit he it. Got me all riled up. Got me interested and just blew his chance. He just blew it. Just too oh, early. That's his luck. Uh, yeah, that's then we're gonna put. Around, baby. Then we're gonna put fucking Cody. Rest his soul. You know I couldn't give him the bottom spot because he's dead. <laughs> you know, hey, above you, you know, dead. I, you know, because he's dead. You know, I couldn't quite put him there, so we're gonna give him the pity one. 
And then, of course, you know, I gotta get hit I by a bus. Say it. Recognize you know, I hate to say it, but we're gonna put we're gonna put Paul at you know right there at number three. Hey, we's a lot we're of people, put, man. This is your we're gonna page. put we're, we're gonna put Chris here, <laughs> and then y'all already know I'm up here at the top <laughs> because that's just how I go. And you know, y'all ain't fucking with the kid. I got a bunch of bangers. This shit is gonna be timeless. You can put it on. You can sip it, sip. Some coffee, you can sippy sip some drink, and this album will hit you like some dank. Baby, you feel me? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Man, false. You fake, fake news. <laughs> <laughs> Lizard people are real. <laughs> Group me? Like, then he just literally said, like, hey, our... I don't know if Paul just edited all that out, but I didn't hear any of that. <laughs> he bet not. He I'm doing live not. editing on the fly, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a beep button. Every time he says that, he's holding a beep, beep. Bro, you gonna be working like three hours, dude. <laughs> hey, well, that's your problem. It is. How long wait, wait where the fuck are you problem? working at? 323. Huh? All right, I'm sorry, 223. Hey man, I like to make the ladies happy Shit. all through the night. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm putting in work hey, all night hey, long. Hey, you know, hey, hey, night. Chad a good dude. He smoked meth though, but he's a good dude. All night. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. But yeah, guys. Awesome. Hey, I'm glad you. I'm glad you guys at least tolerated the album. Um. Hey, it was a good. No, no, no. Let's talk about final thoughts for real. Final Let's talk about final yeah. thoughts. Okay, uh, go, go, go. Oh, okay. I'll start us off. No, I think this was a uh, great introduction to, uh, you know, Justin for the new playlist podcast that we're doing. This, you know, like it says, it shows a lot of layers. And that's, uh, uh, you know, usually how Justin says goes. It's not going to be for everybody. I think it showed that, like, it, there's a lot of good stuff and a lot of stuff that each one of us, I think none of us really agreed on which ones we liked and which ones we didn't like. And that's, that's cool. So. You know, so it's very much a scattershot, which is good because it hits a wide audience. Um it's also for the most part i know it was supposed to be kind of a dour playlist but there it was so the musically it was kind of so uplifting that it was it to me it felt like a, a refresh it felt like a mint before we go to the next thing you know like uh we just did a month so at the beginning of this month we kind of washed our palette clean and we're ready to go on to the next thing it was it was light it was airy it you know it didn't take too much to digest so now we're we're and it then it that's a good thing. So now we're ready for the the next of the month, the rest of the month or whatever. And so yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Um, there's definitely a couple songs on here that I'm going to be checking out. Um, some more of the the people. Uh, good job, man. Yeah, I agree. agree. Go ahead, Chris. You go. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, I I think overall this is a very good playlist. Uh, it flowed really really well. Like there's a lot of times when like. One song would like end, and another song would begin. I wouldn't even know it; just it, it flowed so well. And yeah, there's several songs on here I really, really, really like a lot. Um, I, like the song R, uh, "Red," I love that. One. I, a lot of the songs that were like non-lyrical, the uh, instrumentals, like I like those a good bit. I don't know why; I just really, really enjoy instrumentals. And uh, the "Cloud" song by Kyle. You know, we all like Kyle. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, I think that it was one song we all agreed that we liked a lot. Was a uh, was that song by Kyle? And uh, I know Paul's waiting on me to shit some more on Nine Inch Nails, but but uh, I think that was that was legit. The only song on here I think I didn't care much for at all. And also the the Benjamin Franklin song was pretty good too. Oh yeah, yeah, Drunk History, Benjamin Franklin, good episode, one of the best episodes. Actually. Yeah, it really was. It was, it was uh, one of the best. Like two point five episode. Dude, we used to watch that shit all the time. God, so funny though. <laughs> Hey, just uh, <laughs> thought I'd come by, bring some biscuits. Good Thought you had a little fire, a lot of fire. Uh, light of fire. All right, now go so, ahead, Chad. Go ahead. All Chad. right. So all in all, I think it was a decent playlist. Um, <laughs> there wasn't a lot of you know great songs I'm gonna take away, but I love the six lakh song. I love uh, the cutting ties. I have that on some of my other playlists. Um, the Nine Inch Nail song I like. Um, in their body of work, I like that one. Uh, you know, so that the but the thing that I kind of go back to is the diversity. Like listening to you guys' playlist, I mean, a lot of this stuff is not familiar to me. So I mean, there's a generational thing, there's a music genre, like a taste thing. But um, but but I enjoy listening to these different kinds of music. You know, like I said, if it's not lyrical, I don't I don't know how to get a message from it. But sometimes you know, it is just you know setting a tone or setting a mood or creating a feeling or a vibe. 
Um, you know, and that's that's something that I've always just kind of blown through with with music. Like I've always thought that the the lyrics plus the music equals the vibe. Sometimes it's it's just instrumental stuff and different things. So I'm really enjoying uh, you know the experience of the podcast and the and the playlist stuff. Um, I think this one was a good one. I wouldn't say it was a bad playlist. I would just say that you know some of this music isn't my style or my taste. But having Justin explain where he was going with it, how he was setting it. Um, I, I got to start listening to his music a little bit closer. I mean, all you guys, I guess, because you know, there's like there's like the surface level stuff, and then sometimes it goes up here, and then it tries to bring you back down here, and then you go and you end up up here. Um, <laughs> and that's that's what I love is that you know it's 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 not just music thrown out there. It's actually trying to bring you somewhere. It's saying something. It's you, you're using music as a message, and and that's that's what I like, and that's. It, it makes perfect sense what you were trying to do with the playlist, and uh, I say good job, man. Keep them coming. Yeah. Uh, also, one thing I want to touch on: um, uh, Paul was talking to someone in his Discord one time, and Paul was like, "Hey, do you listen to the podcast?" And he said, "No, I only listen to like classic, classic. rock or something like that." And and that's something that you know when you if if you're if you're watching this and you listen to our playlist, you gotta really open your mind to different types of music and. And that's one thing like I've, I've said over and over and over again is I really like that we do this because even if like I listen to a song and I don't like it, with the exception of the Nine Inch Nails song, I mean he just won't. If I don't like it, he's saying that they listen to all this stuff, but I choose what I'm gonna listen to. Even if I don't like it, it I like <laughs> being being introduced to new styles or a new genres or something like that. It, it's even if I don't like it, I, I appreciate that I, I listen to it. And I, I, I kind of compare it to, uh, I know it's stupid, but I compare it to food. Like some people says, I only like hamburgers and french fries. I only like this. It's like, well, if you do that, if you cut yourself off from all these different types of uh, ethnic foods and styles of foods, you're, you're really going to live a very boring, dull life. you gotta you got to be open to new things and trying different trying different types of stuff. I mean... If if you don't, then you you don't know what you're missing until you try it, you know. I mean, <laughs> you are it, possibly it, right. Have you ever taken a penis in your asshole? Yeah, for real. I mean, so do you know you don't like that? But person? he only doesn't do it because he might not like it too much. A real? Oh, penis? you're right. That's moderation. I mean, that's I me. That's that's, that's I'm like I can't that? suck dick because <laughs> what if I like it? And then look that's at me. I mean, level. there's nothing wrong, but I just yeah, I can't take that risk, unfortunately. I mean, yeah. but, but you got to be like open your mind to the different genres and stuff like that. Uh, if you if you come into it with a mindset that I only like classic rock or I only like hip hop and rap or I only like country music, then of course you're not going to enjoy it at all. But if you open your mind and, and, and come into it with Hand like ass. you know I'm, I'm I want to try it, then you know you you can actually some way open your mouth. Sometimes you got to open your mind, and relax. Like you never heard before. <laughs> there you go. That's that's, yeah. that's what I was about to say. Yeah. I like it. You know what? I mean, really. That's good. You guys did a good job, you know, just listening to my playlist. Is it We honest? did good, huh? <laughs> you guys did a good job. I mean, the fact that that you guys are like, hey, this is uh, an okay playlist, not to toot my own horn, but I'm the shit. All of these fucking songs, all of them, those, are some of the best songs that these those, artists put out. So it actually says a lot. Like, if you guys don't like it says these I was right about artists, shit taste of music. if you don't like these <laughs> songs, if you don't like these artists, that's on you, man. That's you on you. You don't like these nuts. You're in the, you know, you're the denominator. You're the common denominator. You know, you, you can't, you can find happiness in some of the most drivelous shit in the world. But I'm, I'm going to stop joking. I'm going to stop joking. But legit, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys even listening to my playlist. I'm glad some of you were able to take something or anything from it. I mean, because like I said before, when it comes to music, when it comes to listening to someone's playlist, it is tough to even get what they want out of it. You can listen to a song and maybe just get something from that song. You not even hear what they're trying to put together, not trying to piece together their entire playlist. So like I said, just you guys trying to get something out of it, getting one iota of the message I was trying to put out was great. I mean... I don't think you did a very good job, Chad, but you know, y'all tried y'all tried y'all best. And that's all I can ask. So from here on out, man, I say we have a you know, a ball with it. And um how about we uh we close this thing off proper? Um Guess we you know, need to uh, say who's up who's doing yeah. theirs next. Yeah. Well who who went first? I believe it was you. Uh outside of Mr. Cody. So do you wanna start us off again? Do you wanna do uh the thing or do you wanna mix it up, Paul? 
It, yeah, I can. I've got one ready. If anybody's else is ready to go, yeah. though, um, yeah, like we can keep it going well. that way. Or if you want, I got to one ready as well. Yeah, I'm just saying, like literally, if you guys want to keep the same rotation going, or because that changes the whole dynamic. I I like keeping the rotation going. That way, it's an equal spacing between your playlists. We don't have one person who gets two out in, in a three week period, and then it's six weeks before we hear from them again. You know, right. And That's I know true. that was the issue we ran into last. time. Yeah, and did. that was because I thought it would be fun to, but it was just too much. It and then much. sometimes, li like literally, we'd have to have one ready the next day, like because we didn't know who was up next. So we're like, "Fuck, I got a day." I mean, of course, you'd be well, working on it, but then you got to rush it, which can suck. Yeah, like, or you would have like a week. Like you would basically have like a week to try to create something where everyone else has had like you know four weeks or you know something. or a month almost. Yeah, yeah. Well, four weeks is a month, but you know whatever. Uh, um. So yeah, I say let's keep it going. If do that thing, Chris, you do that thing. Chad, you do that thing, and I do that thing, and then maybe we see what some of our viewers want to do. What you know, once they give us some feedback, where we start taking this. Um. Really though, uh, I'm gonna close my shit out because I'm tired of dealing with you, bitch. Uh, <laughs> y'all know me. I'm Justin, aka Nasty Tom. You guys can find me at Twitch.tv/NastyTomTV. Um. You know, I got the banging hits. You know, yeah. If y'all listen to this playlist, y'all know I'm worlds above these hoes. <laughs> but that's just me, and that's how I keep it. So uh, hopefully, y'all tune in, y'all enjoy, it. and we'll be doing a live stream. I think in three or three or so weeks. Yeah. yeah. I'm uh, Chris, aka Dr. Kiljo89. You can find me on the PlayStation Network at Dr. Kiljo89, and on Instagram at Chris the Rogers, C H R I S T H E R O G E R S. And where you live? Yeah, where you live? Uh, What's that social? Which social? What's your? Where you from? You. What's your hey, mother's main name? What's your mama's name? What's your daddy's name? How long name? that D? Mm -mm. Where's your mama stay? Where's your daddy stay? And where's your granny stay? Hmm. Well, I don't know about all that, but I'm Cody with a K, aka Raspberry Corn Muffins. You can catch me at Captain D's, and I ain't talking about the fish joint. You know what I mean? <laughs> Captain D's nuts. <laughs> Lake Farmer. <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, Paul. Thank you for joining us here at All In. Uh, you know, look forward to the next one. Hopefully, you enjoyed this one. As I said before, you know, leave a comment down below of what you thought about this playlist. You know, what were some of your favorite songs, um, and what did you glean from it? But other than that, that is it for this episode, and we hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Wu Tang yeah, forever. Glean was such a good word. Good job, buddy. Makes Thanks. you seem smart. <laughs> Thanks.